How could Tenmyoji be jumpy, man? How could Tenmyoji be jumpy? It already feels to me, and I don't know why, it just really feels to me that the, the dead woman is Junae. Nah, I don't get... Am I wrong? I don't get any jumpy vibes from him whatsoever. No jumpy vibes. But, like, if he actually has age, he's like, what, pushing, pushing 70, I think they said? Like, it's been, like, 50 years. So, you know, I think the question is, is 50 years enough time for an anime character to have character development? And I really don't think so. I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's enough. I really don't. What's this? <laughs> You're gonna take He's got a lever. Try pulling it, Sigma. What sh why it should I? Dangerous. Right. Then I have no choice. Did you really think I'd say that, you heartless monster? There's nothing on either side, What's is there? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, sorry for the confusion. I was talking about your breast. What? <sighs> What the? What? I don't even understand. I don't. I don't even. I don't get it. Is this some sex joke? I'm too virgin to understand. What? What? What is this? If you're a C cup, I'm packing 12 inches. Where, where is this coming from? Did Did it hear me? That I said I was really enjoying it and it was pretty good the whole way through and it was like holy shit, hold my weeb beer. Here I go. Like, I don't. People in the chat are saying, Joe, she's flat. I don't- What does that got to do with anything? How did we get here? What does her being flat have to do with any fucking thing? Like, how do- Are we just suddenly talking about her boobs? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I don't- I, I'm reading it back, like, over and over and over again. It's like- It's like the hardest puzzle in the game. How did- How did we get from here to- Did you really think I'd say that, you heartless monster? I don't understand. It's like, oh, oh, you- You were talking about the lever? I was talking about your boobs. La my oh. Like, I don't- what is this? So what we're seeing on the left is a slice of that root. What is this fresh horse shit? The bottom layer has eight circles of different colors. Four of those circles are blank. Assign an appropriate number of each circle. The yellow circles are, are electrified. The blue ones have piranhas in them. The orange are orange scented. Piranhas really like oranges though, so they'll leave you alone. If you're in the numbers that you can use are displayed below the cross section, you can move the numbers where they need to go by dragging them. Oh. 100 21 at 19 is 40 add 15 is 55 add 12 is 67 so we need 33 can we get the 33 with with four numbers here so 10 19 27 33 okay <laughs> All right, we did it, huh? Looks like I got it. You sure did. That's amazing. Good work. Oh, look at that. The color change. Oh, that puzzle was really easy. I think that, that, that maybe that's an, an, an annihilation reactor. Annihilation? You mean like that bomb? The bomb? Yes, the core of the annihilation bomb would work on the same principles. I think Fine knows a lot more about these things though. I just picked up a few tidbits of information here and there. There's going to be a bunch of matter and antimatter in there, probably hydrogen and antihydrogen bumping into one another. When they do, they annihilate one another. You can actually calculate how much energy by taking the mass mass defect and who are you? See, now in any other media, I would be like, okay, so Fi must be some sort of scientist to know this shit. But because it's this game, she could just she could just be a waitress, and she she just knows, you know, like like you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like we're the only ones here that don't know this. So cool thing about this is that um, it's somewhat similar to the idea I have of making a, a Danganronpa style game of my own. Um, it's not too similar, so I'm I'm happy about that because otherwise it would be like repeating a, a lot of concepts and shit. But um, the idea I have in my head for for a, uh, a killing game kind of thing is, um, is is somewhat similar to this in structure at least. I'm just gonna have to hire a consultant to, uh, to you know just salt and pepper the script with um, uh, out of nowhere sexual references and advances. That's apparently very important. Just just out of nowhere, we have to have like, oh, sorry, you know, you've too much plot in the scene. You have to talk about some boobs and dick for a little bit. Like, oh, okay, sorry. You know, here we go. I just got here a minute ago. When you showed up, I was getting ready to take her to the infirmary. Hold on. There's something I need to tell you. Look what? to the right. My right or your... But <laughs> you 
you're right. <laughs> what the hell? This is, is a bomb. The Adam has finished scanning Alice. What did it say? Her results are identical to Quark's. It just keeps coming up with, with bitch. Every time I scan her, it just screams bitch detected. I don't know what to do. Nah, it's pretty accurate. She has also been infected with Radical 6. Alright, so am I just supposed to just realize when I have the password to get through here and go and go back? Because if that's the case, I love that. If it's just uh, when you think you have the password, come back here and enter it in. That would be really cool. Ten minutes remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. Guys, I think we should get back to the warehouse. You would say that. <laughs> what about Allison Quark? I guess we're just gonna have to leave him behind. I just want to stay with her. She shouldn't have to be all by herself. Whatever. She can do what she wants. <laughs> I huh? see. Dio and Tenmyoji's opponent in the next AB game is Clover. If she doesn't vote, then she'll default to ally. If she stays, He's got an easy round. Of course I'm gonna pick Ally. For one, Tenmyoji's gonna be in there with me. No, I won't be going. I can't leave Quark here when he's like this. I'll be staying, just like Clover. Ooh, okay, so now Dio doesn't have any plausible deniability. Interesting, okay. Knock it off, Dio. He's too smart to let you make a scapegoat out of him. What the hell? Ah, nice. All right, cool. I like that. All right. If Clover, Tenmyoji, and Dio all don't vote, then everyone allies, right? Oh, you don't know? She doesn't know. <laughs> She's not Coggers. But I, I am the robot that is Coggers because I have seen the rules before. And Luna has not. There's only one solution. Clover, you're going to have to go vote for us. Huh? Uh-oh. Who's she gonna seduce in there? Herself? It's gonna be like that scene in Lord of the Rings with Gollum. She's like, Clover, we need you to vote betray. Betray? No. Knows, knows votes betray. Yes, votes betray. I listen to anything if you want. What does that mean? <laughs> what, did I use big words? <laughs> it means this. Uh-oh. I've never seen someone move that fast before, let alone someone as old as Temioji. In the blink of an eye, he covered the last few feet between himself and Dio and slammed a closed fist into the other man's chest. Uh, who are we against again? Oh, we're against Fi. You're going to choose ally, right? Too much to think about. Yeah, we are, yeah. <laughs> yeah, why do you ask? Of course we are. Ooh, ooh! Once we get in there, Sigma, will you vote betray for Luna? Okay, hold on. Oh, there is a choice. Oh, wow, that's awkward. I think we should get the betray one out of the way first, so then we can just get that done and then flip over to the to the cannon accept one. I think that's what we should do. Then I would have nine points. Oh, okay. So she's gonna vote betray then. There's no way she's not going to, because otherwise we would be able to leave. And, like, there's no way we're going to get to 9 and the game's going to be like, Nah, fuck you, you can't leave. So, she's going to vote Betray. So we should definitely vote Betray then, and then go outside and, and we can just do finger guns at each other and go, Eh, I knew it! And then we'll hug, and then, you know, we'll be fine. Alright. Ally or Betray. So, get the Betray cocktease out of the way. It's going to be vote Betray, ends, bad end. We don't get to go out. And then just load it back up and do the real route with Ally. Okay. The reverse bait! Oh my god! Oh, chat in shambles! In shambles! Chat in shambles! Oh my god! Holy shit! Not even I knew what I was going to choose until I got there. Oh man! Did so someone just said they lost two hundred and fifty thousand coins? There's no way. You bet three point five million coins just changed hands. Oh my god! Oh rumbled! I just collapsed the monocoin economy. Holy shit! She voted betray for sure. Oh no! Oh no! No. They're gonna kill us. We're dead. 
points. It was Luna. Luna made us do it. She seduced me. Please. Well played, Sigma. <laughs> I learned from the best. I guess a promise means a lot to you. I had nothing to say. She was right. I've broken a promise. Why are we talking? Just go over to the lever and pull the door. Why did you do it? That was not a smart move, Sigma. How does it feel, chat? You're fi right now. I won't forget this. You will, though, once I jump. I'll make sure you pay, even if it's the last thing I do. Elapsum semel occasionum. Non ipse potest Jupiter reprehendere. What? Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Okay, I'm getting some like flowy vibes right now. Like, is this gonna is this decision gonna haunt me over to another timeline? The only person who betrayed anyone was me. <laughs> the only person with nine BP was me. Little wonder I wasn't very popular. You aren't thinking about trying to open the number nine door, are you? Yeah, it's rich coming from you. You were already out of here by now. For why, why had I chosen Betray? In my memory, it seemed like an almost flippant choice, as if I'd just been curious what, to see what would happen. If Betrayal was what I wanted, I should have made that choice with commitment. This is so good. Wow. Like, to put yourself out there on a, on a, on a like, a risking on a limb that this is actually going to make sense and resonate with, with the audience. And it does, for me. Like, it really, it, like, yeah. Like, damn. Sigma, we're just doing this to be safe. We can't let you run around with 9 BP. This is the right decision? I'm afraid you're going to have to sleep for a little while. I started to turn around, but it was already too late. I felt a heavy hand slam into the back of my neck. Still have not seen an ending. Okay, this time, I'm choosing Ally for sure. That was not a smart move, Sigma. I won't forget this. <laughs> Amazing! I'll make sure you pay. Even if it's the last thing I do. Amazing! I love it. I love it. Amazing. Elaborate. It even it even interrupts the skip. It's like, ah, eh, whatever. I know what this is. And then all of a sudden, it's like almost like a jump scare. It's almost like womp change. You made something change. She's angry. She's it's, it's like like uh, an interjection. It's so good. You chose ally, right? Yep. Are you sure that was okay? Yep. Yeah, of course. If I did you too. You sound pretty sure of yourself. Oh, it's not confidence. I already know. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, shit! Oh, no! What? Oh, no! Oh, no! Let's go have a look, shall we? You will know pretty quick whether I know anything okay. or not. Let's go. Man, I'm so interested. I'm so engaged right now. It's gonna be betrayed for sure. Yeah! Okay, what happens now? All right, now we're gonna knock Fi out, right? And we're gonna be angry with her? Come on. Point. What the hell, Fi? Why'd you choose Betray? You chose Ally before. I see. So you remember it too. Okay, where's this going? Well, I've got nine points now. All right, later, losers. So sorry, but I'm out of here. I didn't think you were the kind of person who ditched the rest of us so you could get away. When someone betrays your trust, feels like a part of you dies. For me, I guess it was the part that cared. Oh god. This this feels like a permanent thing that we fucked up here. I'm leaving. Okay. Through the number nine door. Okay, we can stop her though. She can't actually fly. <laughs> then shot up into the air and over my head. I spun around to see her standing next to the number nine door, her hand on the lever. She grinned and tightened her grip on the lever. Claudite, acta est fabula. What? What the hell's that? Latin. Applaud. The play has ended. Okay, so you're there stand you're you're there like speaking Latin, explaining what it is, and Kay hasn't gone over you and hit you in the back of the head? Like what's what's going on, Kay? I felt myself speaking before I even knew what the words were. Elapsum sa semel occasionem non epis protest Jupiter reprehende. Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Are you sure this is what you, how you want it to end? If I slowly let go of the lever. Phew, look, I'm sorry about betraying you. This time you chose ally and I chose betray. Okay. I think we're even. All right, let's go back in time and vote ally again. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm going to vote betray. Lamayo got her. <laughs> then how'd you know that phrase? That's from, um, this. She unpinned the brooch from her chest as she spoke and held it up to me. Oh! Okay, cool. It's relevant. I hesitated for a moment, then took it. Look at the back. So I guess the I is pronounced like a J in Latin, huh? Aw, oh, for fuck's sake! Where is he? What's his name? <laughs> Our 
Alright, what's his, his name is uh ten my oh shit. Alright. Fuck I wish it was right. Ten my O G. Right? Is it a G? Is it a G? I can't remember how to spell his name. What were we missing? To me Oh we're missing a P. Okay, I'm wrong. I thought I had an epiphany and I'm completely fucking wrong. <laughs> I was like, the I is a J, so he's jumping, but we already have the J. <laughs> I was like, that was like Dr. House moment where it's like, fuck, it's, it's lupus, and I went and I fucking killed a patient. I don't know why. It's like, oh, it's I equals J. So now we can spell double J, Chumpy. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start with the conclusion I've come to. Our consciousnesses seem to be able to jump through time. That's true. No, sorry. Through time isn't really accurate. And that's not what you're saying, yeah. More like we move through worlds. Do you know about the many worlds interpretation? <laughs> well, kind of. Who hasn't? I think I've heard it once or twice. I'm so embarrassed that I forgot there was already J in the name. I thought I had something there. Just, just slamming my brain against all these different options. I'm like legit a little embarrassed. Fuck, man. Mm -hmm. Every moment you make a decision, another universe branches off. Oh my on god. And on into infinity. Is this the flowchart from the third game? Yeah, it's a cat meow. Oh man, this again? <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I can't help. Can't help I it. I find that hard to believe. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. What is this plot point? Is that important? What? I'm kitten out of here. For fuck's sake. Do all, do all, like, like, the, the bunny has to make bunny puns. We have to make cat puns. Do, do all, the, did the fucking, the British robot have to make an animal pun and we just didn't get to the animal he has to make the pun about? Like. So, what's the weight? Radioactive material. And the jar of ink. It's full of poison gas. Exactly. Good work. Now, there's one other thing you need to know about the jar. <laughs> That makes three bombs. Okay, still, so, like, we've done nothing with these characters. What's what's that all about? Quark, too. There's three oh, that we've been playing for so long, and there's three whole characters we've done nothing with. It's amazing. We just didn't have the right password. Okay, so through the field, we literally have infinite time. So let's just try everything forever until we get it. There has to be danger. There has to, You have to be threatened that you're going to die in order to access the field for some reason. So in the future, when field technology has been, like like, properly understood, Everyone just walks around with a loaded gun strapped to their head that could go off at any second. So you could always, oh no, I died. Oh, we're back in the field. All right, now I know. The person who set these bombs is one of us. If we can figure out who that person is and question them. We can get the password and turn the bombs off. I know who did it. How can you, there's no way. We just went through the fields and shit, Fi. Like, get with the program. The person. That person, you did it. What is this? The room was suddenly silent. Please be pointing at a mirror. Yeah! <laughs> why? Oh, I know why. Oh shit, because we haven't seen it yet. So we, so in this timeline, it's like, I don't know, but then we're gonna go and find out and then we're gonna jump back here. So we haven't done that yet. Okay, that's interesting. All right. All right, so do we get an ending? Still no somehow. Okay, cool. All right, well, I'm having fun. Hey, what were you thinking? I'm sorry, Alice. I didn't think you'd choose Ally. What? You really think I'd betray you? Yeah, you're a bitch. Well, I was sure you would vote similarly. Are you listening? I'm not going to vote betray against Clover. How would he know that, Alice? You're, oh, where do we know each other? No, can't talk about it. Tiki, we'd have to kill you. Government super spies. Like, how dumb are you? How are we like over 20 hours and we still have not seen who this character is? Well, Clover was there too. Yes, she was. But if I'd chosen to end an argument by force, do you think she would have had any chance? You wouldn't have to though. You seduced her, right? That's where she learned it from? Clover. Would you please choose Betray for me? Oh, I seem to have dropped my robe. Let me bend over and pick it up. While I'm doing that, would you mind voting Betray? <laughs> After he explained his thinking to me, I thought he had a good point. Oh, he really did seduce you. <laughs> okay. Can you pull that, Sigma? 
Sure thing. Oh, no commentary about her boobs this time and that we're packing a 12 incher? No? Oh, it's the pantry. Whoa, this is amazing. Who'd ever need this much underwear? <sighs> Not panty. What? Well, I mean, all these boxes and stuff are panties, right? I knew it was going to do it. I knew it. You know how I knew? Because I almost made the joke myself. And I changed my mind halfway through. I was like, nah, that's too low-hanging fruit for me. This is acidic and this is alkaline? Or this is alkaline and this is acidic? Uh, I think it's when you... Going down is alkaline, isn't it? And up is acidic? Or is it the opposite? I can't remember. How do you not know? I do know! I just can't remember which way it goes because I haven't been in high school for fucking 20 years! I'm an old man! Hey, just look like there's something inside that ice cube to you. Yeah, you're right. I wonder if we can get to it. How about dropping it through that hole? Hole? There's a square hole down here, see? I think you just need to slide the ice cube into it. So each cube can move four times, right? Not, I can only have four moves, because that would be impossible. That's frozen f fuck now. Okay, shit. Oh no. Oh no. Gonna be here for a while. Okay, so let's go. All right. No, I'm just trying shit now, sorry. Fuck, why? Why? Why do you get why do you get frozen so quickly? God damn it. Okay, is there a way to do this faster? No. This 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 puzzle doesn't make any sense to me. What? Churches and nutrient, nutrient values that each staff member requires for the next five days. Rearrange the order of the ration boxes so they match these values. By dragging the box over another one, you can swap them. Right, let me give it a shot. Okay, this looks, this looks well and balanced to me. This is fine. Oh, fuck. Fine, we'll look at the thing. Oh, all right. So this is seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, that's nine, that's four, that's eight, that's nine, that's 10, that's eight, that's 11, that's nine, that's nine, that's 10, that's 10. Okay, I think, I think it's right. This room straight up sucks. All right. All right, I don't understand my reference. <laughs> oh man, all right. Oh, okay then. Okay. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know it would tell me when it was right. I, I wish it would. I wish it let me know. I thought I had to hit check and everything. It was gonna be really fucking okay. All right. Waifu game news. There's no no more news. The the uh, the Mars needs Senpai's arc is is over before it started. You know, would have had a rebellion anyway because Merrick thinks and I quote. It's cuck shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't think it would have went through. <laughs> Already had a mutiny. <laughs> All right, Merrick, 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 Merrick. What if instead of being a brothel game, it was a management cabaret game? And it was just, you know, you know, doing, employing all of the girls and boys and, and that sort of thing. And the adult side of it was, was just for the senpai. This is, this is out of my area, clearly. I don't, I don't even know what's going on, but you know, that sounds cuck adjacent. I don't, I don't know what that means, but okay. I think a, a full, fully fleshed cabaret simulator sounds like a pretty good game, actually. I, I'd play that. 
time to time to cancel the game I'm legitimately making and um and pivot over to Cabaret Simulator. Have any of you seen Quark? He's gone. On the other side of the green door, we found a room called the Treatment Center. We found our key cards and left, but on our way out, he just disappeared. So you went through the blue door to see if he'd gone in there? No, that's not it. <laughs> Why? But in these games, it's so funny to me when something unusual happening, and then the character, the main character, is like, "Oh, I know why you you uh, you did this. So that's why you came through that door. That, that explains that mystery, right?" And then and the other character's like, "No." <laughs> How many Tim's rewards points do you have? I don't do the points thing. Lily likes to do the points thing, but Lily doesn't go to Tim Hortons. I'm the I'm the one who Tim's. I don't do air miles. I don't do Tim's rewards. I don't I don't go in for that. I'm not a part of that scene. I'm still Canadian though. Every single time the the cashier at the at the grocery store says to me, "Air Miles," I say, "No, I don't have one. Sorry." <laughs> and I'm not kidding. I apologize for not having Air Miles. <laughs> hey, this is no time for jokes. You should be out there looking for him too. Uh, why would I do that? It sounds so boring. Whoa, what the hell? I thought you were a cool guy. For all I know, he's Zero Senior. He could be hiding in some swank little cubby hole, swirling a glass of brandy and gloating. Hmm. All right, he makes a good point. He could be doing that. I could see Quark doing that. All right, still on Team Dio. Yep, he's fine. Look at all those fools running around. <laughs> yeah, this seems legit. Yep. Sigma, good. You've got Tenmi, OG, and Dio with you. We found something. Come on, all of you. Did something happen? Just, you'll understand when you get there, all right? No one in this game can just say something. Just say it. Why do we have to come see it? You're suggesting that Zero Senior knocked them out with the white gas, then killed them both? And by that, you're further suggesting that he knocked them out brought them to the killing game to make them play- no, sorry, the nonary game to make them play, and then halfway through went like, fuck this, it's taking too long, I'll do it myself. Yeah. Okay. However it happened, one of the people in this room did it. Well, maybe not one of the people in this room. <laughs> if he wasn't the murderer, maybe he was one of the murdered. Well, that would explain his sudden disappearance, right? Starting to get the impression that maybe Dio is a little evil. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know. Just nah. He's best boy. Hey Clover, can you choose Alex? <laughs> hey Clover, could you do me a favor? Could you choose Ally for me? We'll be stuck at six points if we both choose Betray. Yeah. Clover. Yeah. I said I want you to choose Ally. Okay. <laughs> Choose ally too, right? Right. Of course. Because Luna's not voting in this round. The vote will default to ally. Her opponent is Dio and me. That means we're pretty much guaranteed to have 9 BP by the end of this round. You have to betray Clover. If you can get to 9 BP, then I'll take you with us. Two. One. No, he's going to try and open it. Or the grunt he swung the lever down. Man, I'm sure Dio has a really good reason for doing this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Middle fingers up. So long, suckers. <laughs> it's opening. <laughs> he he must have a card on him that, that from Zero that said, Dio, you must be an asshole. That that's that's gotta be it. That's the only reason why he would act like this. What happened? I I chose Ally. I made a promise. Clover trusted me. Well, look at your watch. Sigma. And Clover runs through the door. <laughs> oh, please. I see. <laughs> please. Makes sense. <laughs> I guess that's how this ends then. You had to make a choice that was right for you. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Oh god, if, if I hope Clover voted Betray and then it's just Dio and Fog go through the door again and it's like, La Mayo got him. <laughs> Skull Square again. La Mayo got Please him. Please direct your attention 
Come on, Clover and Alice are, like, by far the worst characters in this game, right? Everyone agrees on that, right? By far. Now, Quark may end up being just as bad. We haven't even really interacted with the Quark all that much. But they are just the worst characters. Like, they're not even interesting. This is what happens, Clover. You mess with the bull, you get the shit. You That's what happens. Sima? Yep. All right, lady and gentlemen, shall we? Why so serious? This really isn't the time for hesitation. You both crossed the line you weren't supposed to cross. You betrayed your friends. Am I right? But you didn't have a choice, did you? You had to survive. Isn't that the way an animal thinks, though? Still, you made your bed. Now you gotta lie in it. If you're gonna be an animal, be an animal. Own it. The losers, the weak, throw them away. That's how nature works, my friends. Okay, is that's life at its most pure. Okay, I think the door's closed now. Okay. Is that is <laughs> if, if he monologued for so long <laughs> that the door actually closed. <laughs> you get me? Now come on. Is, is this really the best plan? Should we explore a little bit more? Like we're just we're just going out. Okay, then out of nowhere Dio spoke up. I never thought I'd succeed so easily. I guess I can tell you who I really am. Uh, okay. You see the thing is, I'm a hero. I was sent here from far away to save mankind. Red moon? Are we Oh, are we just in a desert? We need to find help and come back for them. <laughs> okay. There was a rough crackle over the radio and the sound of someone falling. I turned back around to see Fi on the ground. <laughs> hey, hey, are you alright? What happens? I ran over and helped her lift, lift her back up. Okay, is, is it what an awful time to have a radical six moment? She fumbled for a second and clambered to her feet. Where... where are we? What? Her voice was low and rough. Huh? Oh, I see. Okay. No, 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 no. We're clearly far away from. No, 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 no. No. Where's Dio? I'm sure he was with us when we left, and he's still inside, and he's a ma. <laughs> Damn, don't see him anywhere. Where the hell that guy? How how could we have lost him in this? I sped up and quickly crested the hill in front of me. There they were. Stop. With the suits on, I couldn't tell who was who, but I had to stop them. Okay, who are you? Who are you? I moved... To, what the fuck? Where did this come from? I moved over to peer through the visor. Dio. We saved Dio? He was trying to use that to get in touch with somebody. Where the hell did he get it? Probably had it hidden somewhere. Wait, hidden? Like, up his ass? All I got was a lead ball inside me. Snuck in? Oh, oh no! Well, why does why does why is Bunny going along with it then? There was a screen on the upper part with a bunch of numbers that looked well like nothing. <laughs> What's so oh, funny? Sorry. <laughs> you guys just had it so fucking backwards I couldn't help myself. You can't find the key to decode it. Well, no shit. The key's right in front of your face. That's the key. The message is somewhere else. You need those 25 numbers to decode it. Dio, what's going on here? Who are you trying to call with this thing? What, you don't know? At least one of you is appropriately ignorant. Might as well tell you. I don't really have any reason to hide my identity now that my mission's a success. I belong to an organization called the Myrmidons. You've probably never heard of it. But there might be a few people out there who've heard of Free the Soul. If you haven't, well, it's a sacred religious order with over a million true blue. Oh my fucking god. Oh, the Myrmidons are the hand of the free the soul. We do what needs to be done to bring us closer to the new world. Free to the free the soul promises. But when the sun dawns for the first time in our new world, we'll be hailed as saints, holy messengers who cleanse the filth from the dying planet. First, you have to- Oh, I don't care. I don't care. I literally do not give a shit. Free the Soul is built around the teachings of a man named Brother who founded our, our order many years ago. Brother was born into a poor family. I've been told he didn't know his father and that he lost his mother at a young age. And the only family he had left was younger brother, a boy named Left. 
What? Eventually he received the divine revelation. Mankind was thoroughly corrupted by greed. They had to be purified and a new world created. God had given brother his mission. God, I hope this is all bullshit. That was when he began to teach others the truth and at the age of 26 he started Free the Soul. Once Free the Soul was established, he devoted his resources to research on human cloning. Oh my god! What the fuck? So he can create the new species he foretold! He abducted! I mean, he invited to assist him a team of scientists for a research facility in the United States and a year later, the first ten new humans were born. Those ten were the first generation of Myrmidons and I'm one of them. Incidentally, I'm from the fourth generation. Okay, of course you are. Our DNA comes from the left, bro from left brother's younger brother. But it turns out that there was another one. Another brother or sister named Wright. Oh no, watch out for it. The secret sibling who it's left versus right and now it turns out the left isn't dead after all and they're fighting over brothers fucking legacy oh no who are you gonna turn to left or right my right or yours that means we're all share face and that we are given the same the same name left some people think that's weird but individuality seems much weirder to me i think it's fucking weird as fuck bro if everyone looks the same there's no such thing as race or even individuality okay how many dios are in the facility right now with cloning you don't even need different genders how could you get more equal than that Wow, fucking banger tweet, my dude. Still, there's a little random deviation. Other factors can influence a clone's development. I was the best of my generation, so I chose to lead the Myrmidons. I was probably sent here. It keeps going because brother noticed the caliber of my skills. Even though we're all the same, my mission was to infiltrate this facility. When I was given my orders, I thought it was going to be my chance. Turns out Kay's brother all along, though. It was me. I was just fucking trying to... And this was your test. You passed. Everyone else gets killed. This is all about deal. In all my life, I've never really w w once been punished for breaking our laws. I had to do with women. I had come in contact with someone unclean. I was considered corrupted. Man, you had sex? Wow. Even if I was punished harshly and purified my soul, my dishonor remains. I wanted to prove my loyalty to brother, so I was determined to be successful on this mission no matter what. My entire purpose is to be part of the foundation of Brother's New World. Now that I've fulfilled that purpose for the first time in my life, I understand what true happiness is. Oh, holy father. Holy brother. Holy master. Fi, are you listening to this shit? Are you the sister? Are you the secret sister? Oh my god. Hey, Lily. This game fucking sucks. <laughs> brother senses her guards. Fi picks up the rocks with accident to the visor. What is the password for the number zero bomb? There's a number zero bomb. <laughs> Fine. No skin off my back. Zero bomb is L X A Q N S G D Q. Also, he's now Brother Jacob. Brother Bicoy. Sorry, he's not Jacob, he's Bicoy. Brother Bicoy. Is there a city near here? Yeah. Well, not really a city, I guess. More like a shelter. I am absolutely stunned that we're on Earth. And in the middle of the of that field of stars shone the full moon. A giant red orb looming in the center of the sky. Had it always been so big? Wait, or is it not the moon? It's a giant shot put ball. That is definitely the moon though. That's like the face in the moon. You can see it right there. It's definitely the moon. What, game over? No. No. What? Actually, I'm the Easter Bunny? What? Did you get the moon ending? So, in, in the first game, there's a guy who wants to do all this shit because he wanted to be able to see people's faces because of prosopagnosia. In this game, it's a fourth generation clone of the big Myrmidon New World Order conspiracy theory. We'd still have the backup clone cult. Like, with Big Brother lording over it. Like, oh my god, we need to make a new species of humans. And also, that's still not why the game is running. That that's just that's just the the spy that they that they sent in somehow. Okay, Dio and oh, interesting. What the fuck is what the fuck is Clover's end gonna be? We already did one hit, so we should do middle. We should do this one. You chose betray, huh? That's messed up. Wait, what? You wanted us to? What? You said I should. Hey, I didn't say that. <laughs> just asked you a question. What would happen to our BP if Ten Miyoji chose to betray us? <laughs> What's up? 
Siggy. Oh, the upset. Oh, 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 the blue balls. Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, that's just cruel and mean. Oh, no. Oh, that's the last time we ever get to get it either. Oh, no. Oh, oh, man. Oh, wow. That's just, it's just so sweeter now knowing that that was the last time we would ever heard that. Interesting. Okay. So is there ever gonna be a mutual betrayal? Can't believe you. I'd never choose betray. I trusted you two. You did though. And this is what I got. Ah, oh, I apologize. <laughs> Fi, you don't need to apologize. I was the one who did it. I pushed the button. Oh, yeah. I guess you've got a point. <laughs> you huh? Wait, what? Sigma's fault. You! I respect it. You want to blame someone, blame him. I respect it. What the hell, Fi? I tried to think of something to say, but before I could come up with the right words, he was gone. I spun around. Fi, what the f- <laughs> Fi, what the fuck? But she was gone too. Alistair and Quark, however, seem to be having some issues of their own. Hmm. Fine. You just wait. <laughs> Get fucked, Alice! Woo! 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 I don't care that you're a, cl a weird cult clone, Dio. You fucked over Alice. Get fucked! Hey, <laughs> Sigma. Ten. What do you want? What do I want? What, you think I'm here to play doctor? Only, only if you're secretly Clover. Whoa! Tell you what, how about I'll be the doctor? Okay, I'll try anything once. Just get out of my sight. <laughs> Easy solution then, just close your eyes. Leave before I make yours black. Oh. The last guy I fought went home in an ambulance. Oh. <laughs> Shouldn't have picked a fight with a paramedic then. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god, we have no chill right now. What an amazing, what an amazing comeback. I didn't say there wasn't anyone I trusted. There's one person, Clover. What? Me? <laughs> he trusts us? Why he trusts us? He shouldn't be trusting us. Finds out why. Yeah, that's what I said. Why? Yeah, why? I can't tell you. <laughs> Why not? Just, no, Clover, you just vote by yourself. Make Sigma wait outside the AV room. No, I don't agree to this. No, no. No. No, I... Oh, my God. Temyoji, you're making me agree with the worst person here. And I now know Dio is a fucking cult clone that is probably fucking, like... Like, like Emperor Palpatine brought back to life through a time machine bullshit, and I still think she's the worst person here. And, like, no. Uh, that means I'll be stuck with Dio. Okay, so you're putting yourself before a kid. All right. There's no way in hell I'm going to let that happen. Okay, wow. Just streamer who thought character was, was at rock bottom breaks through to even new like Dark Souls secret underground level that he didn't even know existed. Like, just as Alice had said, there was an excellent chance that Quark would default to ally. If that happened, he'd make a great opponent. Whoa, I choose ally. Oh, okay, of course, but it would be good not to not have to worry about him choosing Betray. So I guess it treats people to like a massage. Maybe it can help Quark. Yeah. Okay. So um, now that we've seen an ending, um, I just want to acknowledge, and some might even say admit, that uh, I have absolutely no idea what the fuck is going on anymore. Like I, I have no fucking clue. 
I don't know where this is going. I, I, I literally do not know where this is going. I thought we weren't on Earth. Like, I thought... Like, it was... It, the experiment was to create something. Now I don't even know. I I, I have... They're just like this this clone thing with... D I, have, I have no idea where this is going. So... You know, let's just strap in and hope that we get to somewhere good. You can move the three jellyfish by clicking and dragging the mouse or using the arrow keys. Move the purple jellyfish in the hole using the water currents in the tank. Um, how are we doing that? If you move one of the yellow jellyfish to the hole instead, you are a failure and we are very disappointed in you. <laughs> okay, let's do this. What the fuck is this shit? There's a message on the screen. For use, the system must be initialized. Please perform the following tests. One, treat vegetation. Two, freeze vegetation. It's something about treating and freezing a plant? Yeah, treating makes sense. These being treatment pods and all, but why on earth would we just put a kid in here without like going to talk to Luna first or anything? Freezing? Well, we don't really have a choice, do we? We gotta follow the instructions. Sorry, Temioji, we killed Quark. Do, do, do. Freeze test complete. Pod opening. Look, the leaves are all crunchy. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. What did you do? Ah, oh man, what did you do, Clover? It's all broken now, but whatever. Just help me clean it up. Okay, so no one wants to go in here and get frozen. What the hell? All right, things should be complete complete for both the tests. So hurry up and put Quark in. No, I know, I know. What? Hang on. Oh my God. Oh, what? We're just doing it? Holy shit. Diagnosing complete. Freezing. What? Nah, it makes perfect sense. Are you insane? If, if we didn't have a doctor and if we were the only ones here or whatever like the certain conditions this could make sense but but no like luna has a medical degree and shit let her come look at it first like what if this is just set up just just for the it has a clock drawn on it what if this is just something set up that just works with trees for the for the fucking escape room um so my, do you remember what i said back in the other warehouse yeah, you told me we should betray Quark since we might get another chance like this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can I, um, take that back? Whoa. Huh? I changed my mind a little bit after talking to Ten Miyoji. I think we should choose Ally. What? What is this reverse psychology? Hey, that's more than just a little bit. That's like someone trading in a, uh, a, a shy to zoo for a German Shepherd. Okay, you know what? I haven't said it in a while. I went to the zoo the other day. It was terrible. They only had one animal. It was a dog. It was a shit zoo. <laughs> Oof. What the hell, Dio? Hey. Hey, Dio. Get fucked, Alice. What the hell is your problem? <laughs> you. You're either crazy or just an asshole. Didn't you think it through? Your vote was always going to be betray. Let's say I was a raving lunatic and picked ally. What would happen to Kay's BP? Six plus three would make nine. Dio is so slimy when it comes to always having this justification for being a complete asshole huh he's so good always has uh, an out the door beyond the pressure exchange chamber is locked up tight damn it just one door between us and freedom well, if you look at it that way it's the same as the number nine door okay but when when the bunny said that it was no it wasn't the bunny when the bunny said that the game was over it specifically said all other doors have been unlocked does that include this one it's welded shut and unlocked. what is welding but if not another name for locking a door like what is a locked door really you know like just because the key is you know another welding gun to 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 melt the the weld seam again like what like come on hello everyone I'm the lockpicking lawyer, and today we finally met my match. However, as you can now buy on my store, I have my trusty blowtorch. I'm going to take it to the seams of this door and crank it up to 11. Here I go. And as you can see, it's just that easy. Oh, the, bro the brother company, free, free your soul, made Radical Six. 
They're, that's how they're cleansing the world and their clones are immune to it. That's it for sure. That's it for sure. What about the, the fucking recording where they're on the moon or Mars and it's like, oh no, I killed everyone. What, what the fuck is that shit? Is it like they, they were the only, ev everywhere on earth is infested with Radical Six, but th the people that were on the Martian or moon base weren't. So, cause, cause they got away before that. So they're the only place that can make the cure. And now we're trying to like mimic what they did there. So I don't even know what the fuck is going on. It's got something to do with, with some other, some other, this is a recreation of something clearly. Oh man, if only we could, if we only, we still had access to that Mars space, we could use them to create a cure in, in a sterile clean environment. But it's too bad that one of them went fucking crazy t 10 years ago. And now we can't use that to make the cure. And then fucking June and Santa and the rest of the Scooby game bust in are like, no, Mr. President, we have a plan. The bunny what we did this we saved her she's a ghost and we can do it and, the, and everyone's like get these crazy people out of there and the president's like whoa whoa whoa, whoa. i want to i want to hear him out and they're like yeah let's what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a replica of the whole martian moon base thing and send people in there that kind of match but also you know make a bunny ai to go crazy and then we'll and then that through the morphogenetic field that you are only just learning about right now it's gonna send the message back in time to before the killing went off on the killing spree in Mars and then they'll be able to get the cure on Mars and then they'll be able to give it to us and then you know you know vice president holds up his hand is like well why don't we just use the morphogenetic field to go back in time and stop them from making radical six and the president's like shut up Larry we're doing this to make the cure on the Martian base that's what we're doing begin construction of the real <laughs> am I close <laughs> Alice and I are agents of the Sois, which is under the jurisdiction of the Department of... Fa okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. And we're an elite intelligence division that investigates potentially disruptive or dangerous elements such as domestic or foreign terrorists, radical political splinter groups, and religious organizations with extreme agendas that could pose a threat to the state or citizenry. Okay, how the fuck did you join Clover? How did Alice join this? It's been a year! Our existence hasn't been made public, so there are only a few people who even know we exist. I told you I played the Nonary game twice before, right? Well, this was after the second time, so about a year ago, we just escaped and we were all stuffed into this SUV barreling across the desert okay i was driving and that's when i saw her what the fuck alice she was standing next to the road with a thumb out she was already working for the what do you mean she was already working for the she be far away to the building while i'm in this part of this game and this is her get up what do you mean but on the way there she the car had broken down what we offered to give her a ride of course after she got in, we started talking, and it turned out that Alice had gotten a tip that the terrorist was as she was after the building being trapped. Is, is it just a coincidence? It's, that's just how she dresses, and it just so happens her name is Alice. We couldn't see how us playing the Nonary game had anything to do with the terrorists, but Alice had a suggestion. What if it was? Maybe the two people who trapped you in there are the terrorists. That didn't seem very likely to us, but we were chasing after them anyway, so we decided to bring Alice with us. Unfortunately, we didn't find them. Really? As far as we know, they're still up there now on the run. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. But what about the mummy? Anyway, we were taken back to SOAS headquarters and put into custody, but they must not have found anything because after a few days of questioning, they let us go. We all went home and returned to our life. Is that why? So so all of you in SOIS just dress in just the most ridiculous costumes possible? Is that why you're dressed like that and she still dresses a mummy? My mom got real worried about me and my brother since we've gotten kidnapped twice now, so she hired bodyguards for us. It, it, took, it took two times. The only time I was really happy was when I was hanging out with my brother. So we were talking over one day and we decided to leave. Lamayo, like run away. So we did it. After that, we lived on our own. Okay. This all happened in a year, by the way. I worked in a cafe and he composed music. He plays the harp and he started writing this kind of new aging music and it, it got kind of popular so we didn't have to worry too much about surviving. What? Sometimes he play at a little uh, play at little venues like coffee houses and stuff, and his fans would show up and listen to him and play and cry. <laughs> what the fuck? Or some of them would meet on their own and recite stuff from from the book he'd written and play his songs. And I started, and everyone ever only heard me call him brother, so that was his name, brother. And through his musical career, he started getting really popular and got a really big following. I didn't really follow it all that much though, so I don't know what he's doing. He could be a cult leader or something by now. I don't know. I know that sounds kind of like weird and culty, but the fuck? But they just do the stuff on their own, okay? My brother doesn't have anything to do with it. Okay. Anyway, we did that for a while, and then one day Alice showed up. 
I need your help, she told us. We need people who can do what you can do. Right now, a terrorist organization is preparing for a major attack. They plan to trigger a viral pandemic. If they succeed, they will strike a massive blow against all of humanity, not just any one country. It's possible that we, as a species, will die out completely. We are doing our best to prevent this, but we need your help. You are what we call espers. What the fuck? You have the ability to access the morphogenic field. We need that. I thought everyone could do it. I'm guessing you don't know what any of that is, but basically we can do this thing that's kind of like tele telepathy. Espers can resonate their consciousness with another person through this thing called the morphogenic field. I bet you think I'm just making this, I'm making all this up, huh? I don't blame you. It was pretty crazy. I mean, I was even starting to forget I could do that stuff. It, it's been like a year. The people behind the, the first nonary game might have been part of the terrorist organization Alice and the SOIS were after. Wasn't that she asked something that I might want to know more about? No, that got me curious. My brother too. You guys are the only people who can do this. We don't know where Jumpy is. He's gone off to travel the world looking for Akane. <laughs> I haven't been able to get a hold of him. Clover. Clover. This is a fucking Wendy's. What the fuck are you talking about? Please just do me a favor and help us out. Jumpy equals like seven. Another participant from the second notary game. What the fuck? fuck is this storytelling? Akane, one of the people behind the second nunnery game. Seven was a Japanese policeman, which is probably how Alice got in touch with him. What was his name? Anyway, that was, that did it. My brother and I agreed to join the SOIS. After several months of hard work, we were finally ready for our first field missions. Mine was an infiltration. My brother stayed at the base so I could relay, relay information back through him. I was supposed to sneak into a research facility, posing as one of their workers, and then use the morphogenic field to transmit what I found back to my brother. Wait, what do you mean? So, you're just... You're just... They're just using you as radios? Just... This this could be an email. What what the fuck do you mean? Just go in and then there's some... Whoa! Now we can... Long distance communication. Whoa, we finally have the technology. And then Larry holds up his hand and is like... Um... What about self... Shut up, Larry. I, but... <laughs> Everything went wrong. It was a trap. Oh no, the whole research facility was a fake and I got captured in this. <laughs> what do you mean it was a fake? They set up a whole research facility just to capture one of your fucking Esper. I, I can talk to people long distance without a cell phone, people. That was it. Like, that <laughs> what do you mean? What kind of fucking playground escalation horseshit is this? Alice had come to come rescue. Of course she did. I'd be sending. You were worth rescuing. I'd be sending information about the inside of the facility. My brother. That was all fake, by the way. And Alice used the information to come and find me. Also, the fake was set up by my brother. As soon as it turned out that the field was coming from inside the facility. As soon as she, I guess she got out there, she picked me up and carried me out. <laughs> I was relieved and happy to be alive and free, but I also felt ashamed and miserable. While she was carrying me back out, I started to cry. Secret agent, by the way. She was just so cool, and I wasn't. Get fucked, Alice. I wanted to be just like her. So from that day onward, I did everything I could be to more like her. No, no, no wonder you're insufferable from the first game. Our inf infiltration ended in failure, but we did manage to get something useful. What? From the fake facility? In fact, we were able to figure out where the headquarters was. How? The directors decided that December 25th, 2028 would be the day we would strike. This time I promised myself we wouldn't screw it up. I was finally going to get some, some answers. Shit. That had been with me for most of my life. But it turned out that their headquarters was another fake. But then on December 22nd, three days before the raid, Alice and I were attacked by people in gas masks. <laughs> we were going over our plans. Oh, what the fuck is going on oh my god but it turns out this is the headquarters <laughs> well if there's someone else who's stronger than me then they kind of absorb my powers what maybe you're you're like reverse rogue what do you mean are what? all of them gonna be this absolutely ridiculous like am i gonna just go off on every single one Here. this this the motherfuckers that made the first game put the cliffhanger of that fucking mummy hitchhiking at the end of that and then was like patted themselves on the back gonna sleep well tonight went to bed and then they made a sequel and they were like well shit 
what are we, what, what's that going to be? What are we going to do about that? It can't actually be the mummy. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, I know. Let's just make it so it just so happens to be like, you know, there was someone there dressed like this at the same time hitchhiking and their car broke down and they're part of secret society likes to dress up in ridiculous clothes. And is her name actually Alice? Eh, maybe it's not. Maybe she just calls herself Alice now because they called her Alice when she got in the car and she was like, fuck it. I guess I'm Alice now. You know, if K really does have memory loss, then it's only five. Oh yeah, K has. <laughs> what kind of fucked up crazy game is it that I forgot that one of the characters has amnesia? <laughs> okay. I'm clean. 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 Anne? Ian. Ian? Ann? Ann? Mario? Ian! Ian? Ian? Neo Stigmean! How, how did you get unclean to clean to Ian to Neo Stigmean? What? His brother told me about that. Okay, how does he know about it? Stigmean is a type of colon esterase inhibitor. Okay, what the fuck is that? That means it's a sort of antidote for tubocurine. Okay. What? Fi, you won't believe the day I just had. Fi, let me tell you. Uh-oh, is it Radical Six time? Fi, can you hear me? She didn't say anything, just stared at me with her mouth half open. She gestured toward the exit that led away from the warehouse. That way? She went out that door? Fi's only answer was a slow, shallow nod. Right, got it. Thanks. And then we just left her? I headed for the exit, then paused. Whoa, she's acting kind of funny. You look pretty tired. <laughs> Who gets <laughs> something odd about her but catching clover seemed like more of a priority what and then we just said no one left i turned back around and jumped out the door toward the treatment center what no man fi needs to get some sleep i felt my whole body convulse whether from terror or nausea i couldn't tell my legs went limp and i crumpled to the floor Something sticky pressed against the palm of my hand. I looked down to see blood. How could everyone stab themselves in the chest? Everybody. They all lined up and did it. Oh my god. What the f <laughs> In the middle of a lake of lake of blood. Like an island of flesh were bodies. A scalpel lay in the blood next to them, its handle and blood streaked with gore. Okay, now it's our turn. Stab yourself with the scalpel. This is how they died, this tiny blade. I lifted it slowly carefully to my neck as if someone were guiding my hand with theirs and drew it across my throat. Oh man, I hope we're okay. So Radical 6 is a, is a, it's the despair disease. God damn it. There's only two of these killing game VNs. How are they so alike? What the fuck, anime? So what, what, this is the Clover ending? Yeah, Clover ending, okay. All right, let's go back and betray a kid. Ooh. Blame Clover. It was Clover, she seduced me. Care to explain this then? You're not the boss of me. Get away. What's there to explain? It's exactly what it looks like. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, 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 exactly. What? Yeah. Are you going with him, Clover? It's up to her. When they all turned to look at Clover, I made my move. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! I beat found across the middle of the final floor of the warehouse as I ran for the number nine door. Hey, wait! <laughs> He'd have to do better than shout if he wanted to stop me. Mwahaha! It was I was closer, I was almost there. It took one less running leap, and then Fi was there in front of me and slammed into the wall, unlocking the device right in front of me. With a yellow triumph, I threw the lever down. And then I spoke some Latin. You guys just gonna let him run off like this? No way. I can't allow that. What do you mean? What? Like, the door's never opening again. Just let me go. He took advantage of a sick kid. Shut up, Alice. He's... Let's get him. Just run through. Ready? Yeah. Sigma! He's toast. Run through! Just... I leapt for it. Or at least I tried. God damn it, Sigma. You suck. So sure, everyone lets Clover go, and everyone lets Phi go, but no one lets Sigma go. Go, Clover. F Surely... Two people better than one? What if there's something really- I hate this character so much. Quark didn't even die. He's still alive. It's not like we killed him. 
He still has four points! Bad end, game over. Okay. What is this place? The rec room, apparently. With real weapons. Oh, you didn't see it. There was a plate on the door. It said rec room, as I recall. Shut up, Alice. No one likes you. An Allen wrench. You know what that is? What that is, right? It's like a screwdriver, kind of, and it uses special hexagonal. Yeah, I've used these a million times. They hurt my fingers after a while. You're meant to grip the lump. I know you meant to grip the What kind of amateur dad do you know how much furniture i've built in my life of course i know to use the long part but sometimes the furniture piece like if you you can't use the long part because the long part gets caught on the rest of the fucking furniture when you're trying to spin it and it's like really tedious to always like move it back again afterwards so sometimes you're going to use the short end to, to to get it properly threaded and then you switch over to the long part and it's fucking tedious as fuck to keep moving it back and forth of, of course i know that what kind of dad do you think you're dealing with right now? Oh, were you planning to put a coin in there? Yeah, I figured I'd put a coin in there and then maybe we'll start up, right? You want to ride it, Kay? Hmm. Okay, I'll just drop in a coin and... Yes! 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 Look at me go! Ah, ha, ha, ha. I, I can't watch this. There is no god- What do you mean? He's having fun! Hey, Sigma! Alice! Fido! He's waving at us now. Alice, what's going on? I'm scared. I'm not watching. This isn't happening. Everything is fine. What was that? It seems to have taken a picture. Hooray! Ah ha ha! Sigma, you get on that thing fucking right now! Oh, there we are! Excellent! I give this to you as a memento of our time together, Sigma. I give this to you as a memento of our time together, Sigma. Sigma, what would you say to voting ally? I would reciprocate, of course. As I recall, you and Clover chose Betray in the first AB game. That means you should have six BP right now. If you choose betray, if you betray me and get another three, you could get all the way to nine point nine this round. Ah, yes, that is true. However, interesting. Escaping as soon as possible is not my goal. But you picked betray in the first round, didn't you? That was in the interest of my own safety, as I only had three points at the time. The prospect of losing two of them was very unsettling. Now that I have six BP. I have some room for error. Okay, I feel like I'm being bamboozled right now. Okay. What the hell, Kay? All right, that just made Kay a lot more interesting. All right. He didn't give any sign that he'd heard Dio. Just grabbed the lever and pulled it down. All right, and then we're all going to stop him, right? We're all going to stop him, right? Because when we really want to stop someone from getting through the door, we can stop someone. So we're all going to stop him, right? I do intend to contact the police as soon as I have escaped. Now then. Okay, wait. He didn't even turn around. What? He just he just walked backwards through the door? Uh, we didn't even try. We didn't even try. Okay. Didn't Just not even trying. Okay, cool. Get fucked, K. Yeah. And then we're gonna look at each other and go, eh, eh, I knew you were, you son of a bitch. And Kizzy be like, oh, I know, you son of a bitch. I, I am exchanging in this camaraderie right now. Yes, we both tried to, to trick each other into voting, into voting ally for our mutual benefit. Uh-huh, okay. I guess we will call this even. All right. You don't feel bad about it or anything? I could ask the same of you. No, because I knew you were the one that came over all sultry trying to, with your honeyed words. I didn't suggest it. You're the guilty party here, not me. Okay, no! That's not fair at all, Sigma! No! What the fuck? I might choose to wait until everyone else had also reached 9 BP. <laughs> Yeah, well, I considered that. It didn't seem likely. You do not trust me. You voted betray! There's no one in the infirmary. No quark and no killer, at least as far as well, I can see. There is someone here. Technically, at least. The old woman. Am I alone in thinking that her face kind of looks like Junae's? Because I think that's why. Like, she kind of looks a little like Junae to me. Who was the one that Temioji found blood on their on their wrist on? Was it Dio? It was Dio, right? Man, I'm Dio's gonna have a really good explanation for this, I'm sure. Okay, I know how we can identify the killer. Oh, you just need some of that luminol. It doesn't matter how well they cleaned it; there should be some traces of blood left. Uh -huh. I see. We should have everyone gather in the rec room then. Or we could go up to everyone and say under our breath, "Killer says what?" 
That is where the luminol was, I believe. Okay, we'll do the, we'll do mine after we try this. Golem Bay. We're going into the Golem Bay. Why are we going into the Golem Bay? Are we gonna get the thing from the safe while we're in here? They just left it behind. Don't know what this is. We're just gonna leave it. Oh look, hey, let me open your helmet. It's empty. Yes. Was there something in there before? No, it was empty when I found it. I don't believe you. Huh? What are these? They must be the treatment pods Dio mentioned. Uh-oh. What? I knew it. I'm so glad to know he's safe. Okay, so he did the golem room all by himself? I laughed out loud and grabbed Kay in a bear hug, or at least as much as one as could manage. Why are we suddenly besties? Mutual oomphies going around. What, what the hell? It's starting to feel like even some of the actual physical events are starting to merge between the timelines. He always ends up in the in in the in the pod. It feels like a room solved itself that shouldn't have been solved. It's always the same bodies in the same area. Like it's it's pretty interesting actually. I wonder if that's intentional or if it's just like a side effect of there being the same timeline for a lot of the things going on. Quark may have contracted an illness of some sort. As such, he has been left in the treatment pod. Will he be all right? Yeah, he'll probably... Probably? Do you even... Whatever. At least we found him. Pretty lucky he's alive, too. What do you mean by that? I mean what I said, genius. Yep. He probably has a good reason for being snippy with you right now, Kay. You did lie in the AB game. Yeah, Dio, Dio, Dio's still fine. Wait, what is this bullshit? Why did we come back and just tell them what we found? We needed to rush through the door, out of breath, and be like, Fine, Dio! Thank God I found you! Come quick! We found something! What is this signal? No, no, no! No, you just have to come see! Quickly! To the loading screen! Beep, 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 Look, look, look in the pod. Look in the pod. It's Quark. Damn. Now we have to go find Temiyoji. That, that's what we should have done. As fast as I could, I pulled the luminal from my pocket and sprayed it across all three of our wrists. Ugh. Then just show me your arm. No. You don't get to order me around. I have rights. No, you don't. Clones don't have human rights. Woohoo! As he spoke, Dio made a break for the exit. And then our big, fast, armored friend that was able to run across the, the, the cargo bay before anyone else... Got to the door before him and made him, right? He didn't get far. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dio. Yeah. All right, fine. You caught me. I did it. Oh. Killed the old bitch and took her bracelet. Whoa. You're calling her old? What the hell? Are you what? zero? Open this fucking thing. I said open it, goddammit. You still don't remember anything? Ooh. Whoa. Actually, I... I did remember a little. I was raised in the facility where my father worked. <laughs> is that a... He was the only person I saw until I was older. Is that a bunny? That's pretty sus. That had been the situation for as long as I could remember, though. Once I learned, once I learned to read and write, I began to realize my situation was not normal. Many of my books mentioned a mother as part of a family, and in several, the mother, father, and children would eat meals together and talk to one another. So, for the first time in my life, I asked my father for something. He had finished working, and as usual, may, the first time, yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, I don't think so. As usual, was making his way toward his bedroom when I stopped him and asked for a mother. He looked at me and silently for a long moment before finally responding, Okay. A few months later, he called me into his laboratory. Standing next to him was a young woman, and my hopes soared. But when he said her name, or rather her ID number, they were dashed. He had given me a robot to play the part of a mother. What? I didn't want a mother that was just a machine who did what a human told her. When I told my father that, he looked surprised for the first time in my life. Then he frowned, coughed, and admonished me for being a whiner. Oh man, relatable. He never scolded me for anything <laughs> Robot, and 
he's like disappointed and you're not like explaining it or confused or wanting to confess you called him a fucking whiner he never scolded me for anything before and at first i was surprised then angry hot tears streamed down my face my father ordered the robot to take care of me and shoot us out of his lab i left my room one morning to find a woman standing outside of it all right that's the old lady for sure right as it turned out she was a very mysterious person she was much older than I was, but something about the way she behaved was almost girlish. She would tell me stories about the world outside in such a way that I was never sure if she was telling the truth or making up fantastic lies. Oh, that's Junae for sure. That Junae for sure. Absolutely Junae for sure. Wikipedia possum vibes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so I'm starting to get the impression that the little robot suit is just like, so we don't see what they look like. And it, he wasn't actually grown up in a real robot suit, right? It's got to be that, right? Like, what do you mean, obviously? What do you mean, oh, it's not obvious at all? Wait, it's this game. It re I'm still not even sure of it. I'm just starting to think of it. What do you mean, obviously? He might have been born in a little robot fucking suit. Like, and he just, as he gets older, the suit has to get bigger. Like, he's like, he's like a fucking robot goldfish that has to, like, fucking constantly upgrade its tank as it grows older. It's not obvious at all. It still might be that. What the fuck is going on here? So, like, if this is brother, then brother is either... Th that's June for sure. So brother is either Santa, maybe Jumpy. If it is Jumpy, then ju th Jumpy, Jumpy is Kay's father, and Quark is Kay's son, and he doesn't remember? But also, Jumpy had a... No, it can't be... I don't even know what... I can't even... I can't even begin to to morb to the answer here i don't even fucking know four years passed in the blink of an eye until one day i happened to overhear my father and the woman speaking in the laboratory what the fuck is this their tone was serious so i listened closer curious to know what they were talking about that was when i heard her say that she planned to give her life to give her life to achieve their goals it was clear that she wasn't being metaphorical i asked my father to stop his research immediately he refused to listen she agreed with him she told me that since she she told me that she had been prepared for that since she had what she had to do. I can't read this. She told me that she had been prepared for what she had to do since the day she came to our facility. Okay, reading's hard. My father had known about it from the beginning as well. Angry and disappointed, I began to investigate what exactly the research I had I'd been helping with was working toward. Perhaps, I thought, I could figure out a way to keep her alive. I discovered much more than I bargained for. To begin with, I learned that the ultimate success of my father's research would require a, gr a good deal of sacrifice. Yeah, just remembered a little, by the way, and I also learned that my own existence was just another part of his project. I had been created to function as my father's spare. What? And if he died during his research, I was, I was intended to continue it in his place. I was furious with my father and with her and even with the research I poured myself into four years. There was only- Is it another Dio under there? Is he gonna- Oh, if I, it's Dio number two! I made plans to destroy the main reactor with it, the entire facility, but she saw right through me. My father was livid and locked me in my room until his research was complete. I pleaded with her to leave, but she quietly shook her head. There's still three more blocks on this route after this, by the way. There was someone very special to her, she told me. He would have saved her life- He had saved her life once and she felt her death would help to repay that forever okay so it's not jumpy all right not jumpy unless he's talking she's talking about sand okay who knows she would have liked nothing more than to marry him. okay it's jumpy and live a happy well it's anime so it still could be santa live a happy normal life together but she couldn't for his sake she said and for the sake of the future she had wanted she was determined to see my father's research succeed wait so if it is snake then it's a clone of snake and oh please oh please not again not again it's okay let out a deep tired sigh I'm sorry. I lost track of time. It sounds like Snake. Oh, I want to know so bad. It's Not okay. Not having any memories is less than desirable. Kay lowered himself heavily onto the red sofa in the corner of the room. Well, I guess I'd better get moving. Why are we here? We're just... We're just some fucking college student that was writing a paper. Uh, Christmas uh, it almost means it's not Christmas. Why are we here? Is it fake robot implanted memories? Like, why the fuck are we here? I don't, I don't get it. Everyone else here has has king level backstory. We're just like, oh, I was writing a paper. It was behind schedule. Sorry, but I had a girl. Oh, we weren't a virgin and we have a girlfriend. Okay, that that is like actual like crazy backstory for an anime project. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, we're really interesting. Our backstory is going to be vividly describing what it was like to get a girlfriend. <laughs> and all the rest of the characters are going to be like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <I'm scared. laughs> 
Once in the you decided to split up. What's up with him? Oh, he's still there. Okay. I guess he's not feeling too well. He said we want. He wanted to rest for a he bit. Alright. I think so. We should leave him alone now. No, he's gone. He took the suit off with his thing. He put it back and he took it off and he put it down and now he's like. He's he's fucking loose skinning it all over the facility. Just just like bum, 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 bum. we think he's still here. <laughs> Remember, there's a real person inside that suit. Is there? <laughs> Is there though? You heard that right? Yeah, it came from the hallway. Well, let's go look. Please, please, please be. Naked K, please. Why loading screen? No, please. Oh, 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 please. Stop teasing and get to the show. Come on. No, are we showing every door? Which way? What the hell? Look. <laughs> I can't wait to see the map when, when they try to figure this out later. And Kay, Kay actually went into the treatment center, and then when we came in, he ran in and went to the south a little bit. And then when we came in here, he he just like holding, cupping his hands over his balls, tiptoed out because it was cold, down around the end, back up into the elevator. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. And now he only knew he had a couple seconds to get his suit back on. Ba -da -da. Come on, squeeze in. All right, put it back on. All right, here we go. Like, <laughs> Kay, wake up. Something's happened. What is it? Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was wrong. Are you suggesting Quark woke up, opened his pod from the inside, killed Dio, and then went back to sleep? Yes. No, I'm just saying that strictly speaking, it's a possibility. <laughs> I'm not saying that. So just, you know, take it into consideration. Quark opening that and killing him is almost as crazy as 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 uh, Kay taking off his suit and. <laughs> I hope that's what it is. I hope so much that that's what it is. <laughs> He turned from snail to slug, killed someone, and then went back to snail mode. Please. Oh, well, did you get Dia's bracelet? Well, technically, yes, but... What? What? I assume whoever murdered Dio did this. That means Kay and I... Oh, no. Shit. You're, you're gonna... When the time comes, those three doors will automatically... You're gonna morb. This was bad. What was I gonna do? I need to calm down. Just calm down. Calm down and think. There have to be a way to save them. There had. Neostigmine is a type of cholinesterase inhibitor. That means it's sort of an antidote for tubocurine. To the treatment center! I didn't have time to explain! Come with me! Yes, finally! Finally, we're the ones that do it! No, just follow! Beep, 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 beep! I took our friend toward the exit! Yes! Dun, 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 dun. Where are you going? I bolted out of the warehouse toward the treatment room. Beep, beep, beep! <laughs> I dug frantically through Dio's coat until I found the injector thing and also a bunch of bomb materials and also a shot put ball. I, I dropped my backpack that I'm only now telling you that I carry. I put the shot put ball and all the bomb parts into it. I mixed it all around and I made a huge shot put ball bomb and I put it underneath the thing. I'm gonna kill everybody! Doors closing. There was a sharp, quick pain in my wrist, barely even noticeable. I could only pull the trigger once. Who was I going to choose? Phi or K or myself? No, what was I thinking? There was only one answer. Me! Fi no, me! Me! You saved yourself! I didn't have a choice! That's unlocked, isn't it? Wasn't it down there before? You son of a bitch! He really did take it off and go kill kill Dio! It's the antidote, the muscle relaxes. Why did you pick me? Because I couldn't inject K. No, yourself, why didn't you pick yourself? Oh, didn't even think of that. Because I can't use the injection gun on K. And never get through the metal. Then why didn't you inject yourself? Because I'm programmed to always save you. Heh. <laughs> Guess you've got a point. Honestly, it didn't even cross yeah. my mind. Okay, so what's gonna happen here? Fi continues morbs back here and somehow finds a way to save both of us? Had he gotten it, didn't really matter anymore. What did matter is that K had been able to remove his armor. And he had. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> 
than that would be. <laughs> Dio's killer is. And then we turn around and he's standing there. I coast as much strength as I could for my increasingly lethargic body and crawl toward K. K, wake up. Come on, talk to me. Take the helmet off. I grabbed his shoulder and shook him until he finally shifted and spoke. Sigma. I just need to know one thing. Did you kill Dio? After I left, you took off your armor. You didn't want to go the same way I had, so you took the other door. After you went a long way around through the warehouse and the crew quarters, you headed for the elevator. How long were we in there for? <laughs> Are we showing it? Come on, Kay. I'm almost out of time. Did you kill Dio? <clears throat> yes, because I couldn't forgive him. He took the life someone very important to me yeah it is it is yes yes it is it is I made a promise that you would hear it if you see a lion with two heads devouring the sun remember remember these letters m i l k e v o l i i Love Clem. Who the fuck is Clem? Is your name Clem? What kind of name is Clem? I love Clem. I love milk. I love mi oh, I love milk. This will open the second gate. I grabbed a hold of Kay's mask and tore it off. That's a good place to end it. See you all on Monday. We had um, some people come in and, and install some stuff into the house. And um, one part of that involves adding something to the this, the breaker in the basement, which is where my office is right now. So I have a, a media unit across the room uh, near the breaker box. So in the media unit is a bunch of um, video games. Um, just lots, like my whole video game collection that I've had for my whole entire life. Uh, I barely use them anymore. I don't think I use any of them anymore, actually. Um, so to stop the dogs from getting at them um i've draped some blankets over it so the guy comes downstairs and he is working in the room and he can't see anything that's under any of these blankets okay at one point he's hanging the wires to connect to uh, and running one of them outside and at one point he must have just accidentally moved the blanket a little bit and it fell over a little bit being a human being he was a little curious so he looks down and the only thing that's exposed under the blanket is still in its box, the figurine of Geralt laying naked in the bathtub, spread eagle feet out, just, just there, just sticking out. <laughs> he just, he gave me, he didn't, he didn't acknowledge it. He just gives me this look. <laughs> I'm like, whatever, dude. <laughs> At least he didn't see Yennefer standing right next to him, also still in the box. So, when we last left our hero, he had just taken off K's mask, which possibly stands for, for Klim, because it's I love Klim backwards. I mean, the only person it could possibly be is is Sigma, right? Like, I've had four days to think about it, and I also just immediately thought of it at the time, but I wanted to say who the fuck is that. Like, it's it's gotta be... It's gotta be Sigma, right? It's gotta be. Joe, he's on the cover. I, believe it or not, believe it or not, I do not have a physical edition of this game. Believe it or not, I know that it sounds insane that in our age of, of you know, 2022, you know, so many years after this game came off, believe it or not, I do not have a physical edition of this game. I know, I know. It's not even under my blanket next to the to the girl figurine. It's, it's my face. All right, there we go, confirmed. I actually kin Sigma. Who do you kin? Phi? <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, nailed it first try. <laughs> what was this? It's from K and it's from a uh, Ken. It's from a meme on Danganronpa. It's just I don't know. The beautiful thing about this meme is is that still to this day I don't know if he's kidding. Like I don't know if it's a joke. Like, obviously, it's meant to be funny, but I don't know if he's, like, I'm making fun of Danganronpa fans, or it's, like, I'm a Danganronpa fan and think fellow fans would find this funny. Oh, we got, um, we got a password, which I'm guessing is for this over here. So, can I... It was Two-Headed Lion. All right, here we go. We can do it. Okay, so, it's going to be Milk evoli all right that that fits all right so what's the id admin zero klim sigma just k phi akane because i akane log in canny because i canny log in i feel like i should be able to what did he say <laughs> ten me oh oh Oh, oh, that, that fits all of it. Oh my God. Milk Evoli. This is going to work. This is going to work. It's going to work. Here we go. Ready? What the hell? All right. Do we have to do an escape room? Oh my God. Why do we have to do an escape room? Oh man. Why are there escape rooms? Okay. What's going on here? It's showing the dice. I wonder what the puzzle is. Well, there's only one way to find out. All right. So this looks like... Um, th what the thing was, right? Six, five, two, four, one, three. That has to be a six. All right, so how do I get it over there? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Move. Move this way. Move this way. I want you to move this way. Thank you. I don't know why I want you to move this way. Oh, fuck a duck. Okay. It's awkward, too. Up. No. Up. 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 I, go. Up. Why? Why? Why can't you just be normal? Thank you. Jesus. All right. So now one down and we're doing on toast is the answer five to go. All right. Awesome. All right. That's the five. So the so the red one goes here. All right. Is there a way to do this painlessly? Of course, there's not. So I this. The five is facing that way. So I need to get here. Okay. It's just straight. Okay. So how can I do this? Oh, yeah. All right. So uh, four. Four. All right. Uh, two. Let's get the one, two, three, four, three. Let's do it. Okay, this actually isn't that bad. I'm just fucking terrible. Um, let's get here. Uh, how do I sort? Yeah, all right. Uh, one and two. Let's get over here. Now let's get two over here. Yeah, all right. Last one. No, 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 what? That's it? <laughs> that wasn't even... <laughs> what do you want from me then? <laughs> what do you want from me game? <laughs> Six four one three. Six four one three. And on the edges two and five. Two and five. Alright, two and five. Two and five. Okay, so the colors matter? Oh my god. Oh man. Alright. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, alright, so six and one for the blues. Once here. Three and four. Uh, no, I need two. And now five and two. There you go, got it. What the fuck? What the fuck? What?
Wh awesome, it's open. Good job, Sigma. I I don't know I don't know what to do. Wh what's the real one then? Memento Mori. If the ninth lion ate the sun. Did they make a mistake? Or some say mistake. Uh, that isn't how you spell it. Who who is so up to date on the spelling of ninth that they just immediately look at this and go, oh that's raw. Like if someone wrote ninth like this, I would be one hundred percent fine with it. I'd be like, yeah, whatever, that's ninth. I don't care. Like like I think I think it looks better like this. But you know whatever. It's like I, my eyes don't immediately go here and go, oh that's spelled wrong. They added that e to ninth, but why? To make it actually pronounced ninth instead of ninth. Ambidex gate has been opened. Took him a little longer than usual. They must have had a hard room. I kind of hate Dio. It's so annoying to have this guy be like, yeah, I'm just opening the door. Screw it. Like, I kind of hate him. Although it's not fair to be annoyed by him because I'm, I'm I'm annoyed that he keeps doing the same thing every timeline. And the sheer audacity that he's 100% consistent on his bullshit every single time, no matter what happens, is irritating. I don't know what it is. Like, no matter what room he goes through, no matter what team he's in, he's always there to swipe that card right away and that just pisses me off i don't know why it's just so annoying <laughs> something in my brain snapped Yarg! a scream clawed its way out of my body taking my mind with it the last thing i felt was my body slumping to the floor as the world went dark and the lead ball when i came to i was floating in a field of nothingness literally Okay. Whoa. What? Okay. That one's stupid, right? Wait, what possible... What possible thing could I do there? Lock number six? Is it? Is it also she's not dead? Like, what? Green means unlock... Well, it, it, that felt pretty fucking locked to me. What is it? I'm I'm the lock picking lawyer, and today we're trying to get past this fucking flow chart. It's impossible. The the video is 25 minutes long, and in the end, I give up. It unlocked itself. Yeah, well, fuck it. Okay, it unlocked itself. Okay, all right, sure, whatever, whatever. It unlocked itself. Okay. For just an instant, I was somewhere else entirely. My mind reeled, and then just as I began to adjust, it was gone. As if it didn't really unlock itself, because that's kind of cool. <laughs> Alex should be in here. I swallowed through, opened the door. I hope she's still dead somehow. No, god damn it. Okay, so in the other path, Phi finds her. Is Phi morbing back too? And she knows that she goes to the to the um, the garden sometimes. Knock it off. With a grunt, I tore the scalpel from her hands. It was a second before I felt the burning pain in my left hand. I apparently cut myself from getting the damn thing away from her. Boed, beoed, a boy. It's a it's a it's a a buoy. Is it a buoy or a boy? How do you say that word? Author, by the way, I spoke to a nationally renowned poet once, a long, long time ago, and, and it was uh, over the internet. And he s typed like Risei does in Persona 4. So don't author, by the way, me, motherfuckers. Like, seriously, it's a lie because there are no renowned poets. It's true, it's pretty true, it's pretty true. No one in chat said that. I just simulated that comment because I thought it would be funny. Straw man. True, actually true. Wow, everyone, scroll up. Tino715 is the first and only person to ever have said straw man accurately in the chat in the history of all of Twitch. Congratulations, Tino715. It finally happened. Good job. Ah, uh, guys, everything's coming up Sigma, huh? <laughs> My, my feet are wet, but my calves are bone dry. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Lucky, lucky man you are. What are you going to do? I mean, how are you going to vote? No question. If Clover isn't voting, then she's defaulting to ally. Betraying someone who isn't even playing hardly seems fair. Of course, I think so too. Do you though? But... I'm just glad to hear you say it. Ah. Sigma, what's wrong with your hand? Oh, oh, uh, ooh, There's huh? something white on it. Okay, not sure if plot or another horny bit. There's what?
<laughs> what? What the hell? <laughs> oh, now you remember I was the one who found Alice, right? Well, for the first time since I found Alice in the crew quarters, I looked down at my hand. Across the palm was some sort of strange white liquid. For a moment, I thought I'd somehow touched some white paint or something similar, but the truth was far stranger. The liquid was coming from my hand. Okay, so we're a robot for sure, right? We're a robot. Are you all right? Yeah, it's nothing. I went to the pantry while I was looking for Alice. There was some milk and I spilled... <sighs> I sound even stupider as I said it. Milk? Really? Honestly, Sigma, it would have been... It would have been more believable if you said you just, you know, just went and had some personal time real quick. Like, honest to God. Like, yeah. But... Just shut up. <laughs> it's fine, all right. I'm fine. Leave me alone. Ooh. Oh, it was Clover. Never mind. Full ally sweep. Look, everyone voted ally. <laughs> so we're, we're gonna ruin that next load. I need to talk to Sigma about something. Ooh. Okay, so is this gonna be a real genuine moment? And she's gonna be like, look, obviously something's wrong. Let's talk about it. You can confide in me, like, what's going on with your hand? Or is this gonna be an anime moment? And she's gonna be like, Sigma, you need to stop jerking off when you're going through the map screen. Like, seriously, this is gross. I felt so lonely a lot of the time. And it... it hurt. It felt like I was just kind of going to... collapse from the inside out. What's going on right now? That was when I got this music box. What? Do you know Major Link's the bluebird? <laughs> yeah. Well, I know the gist of it. I think it starts on Christmas Eve. This brother and sister named Tile Tile and My Tile get asked to find Bluebird by this old woman, and they travel the dream to the dream world. Eventually, they give up and go home. But when they wake, but when they wake up, the bird is in a birdcage in their That's hut. That's right. It's a well-known story. I've genuinely never heard of it. And it teaches a simple lesson. Yeah, like you said, happiness is closer than you think. Right. It got me thinking. Maybe the person who gave me this music box was trying to tell me just that. It means that happiness is something you should always be looking for. And it's only when you're pursuing happiness that you're truly happy. You need to stop jerking off so you much, know, Sigma. Sigma. <laughs> I think you might be Tiltil. No, actually, I'm Santa. Where did you find Alice? Room 2 in the crew quarters. Where were you before that? I was in the lounge. That was after we'd split up to go look for Alice. The first place I went was the lounge. So you went from the lounge to the crew quarters, where you found Alice. Okay. And then you rushed her to the infirmary, right? Okay. Yeah. Tell me this then. How do you know about the garden? Just now, you said you'd come here when you were looking for Alice. Very nice. It actually, it was actually important. Very nice. Good job. Well done, game. Well done. Didn't you? So she's going to conclude that we're zero then, right? Sigma, are you... Are you a robot? <laughs> Have you always been here? Also explain your, your 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 perfect memory and that sometimes you make weird creaky robot noises and also half of half of your skull is actually metal and we just haven't been telling you half of your scalp doesn't even have any hair sigma it's just a big half metal dome and all of us just decided not to tell you because it's gonna back up and we're gonna we're gonna look like fucking cyborg from fucking the DC comics and it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like are you a robot and no one asked until right now. <laughs> yes. Luna, aren't you a little scared? Scared? Why would I be scared? 
Well, let's say I am a robot. That means there's a pretty good chance Zero is pulling my strings. That would make me your enemy. Oh, I guess so. Well, even if you were, I wouldn't be scared. Luna, do you think love can bloom in an ordinary game? Why not? Maybe because you're a robot. You prefer robots? Are you a robot too? Huh? Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics? Yes. A robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and plastic. That's not you. <laughs> you have a heart. You're a good person. Is someone there? Just me. Oh, hey, robot. Sorry, but can you guys come over here? Just have a look at this. All right, did someone carve their initials into a tree? Oh, okay, so the, the bomb is there. Chances are whoever planted those bombs is in this room. There's also a good chance they've also got the device we need to deactivate the bombs. Okay, can I wash my hand first? So you're planning to search us for it? Exactly. I know who set the bombs. Who was it? It was you. You got me, that person. Gee, I wonder if it's Dio holding the detonator. The room is suddenly silent. Game over. <sighs> Oof. Okay, and now they're not gonna let me go, because why would they? S Sigma? What was that? He was cut. It must have been blood. Why was it white? Isn't that obvious? Isn't that obvious? He's not human. Not human? No, ooh, ooh, you're one to talk. What are you saying? I didn't have a choice. I spun around and ran for the number nine door. No, I don't think so. Yeah, we never get there. The first thing I felt when I woke up was the hard pain of a bruise all the way across my neck. K must have suffocated me. Again, how does that work on a robot? My head felt like it had been stuffed with cotton and I had to put out a hand to steady myself as I stood up. A glass vial labeled Soparil was still attached to it, the anesthetic. After choking me, they made sure I wasn't getting up in the near future. That meant I could have been able uh, been asleep for a long time. Oh, whoa, what's going on? Where is everyone? I thought this was just going to be a regular bad end. This is interesting. Where is everyone? How does Soparil work on us? Starting to think we're not a robot. It was empty except for me. The greatest revelation in, in the second 999 game uh, in Zero Escape is in fact that you are not a robot. That was when I noticed it. Quark and Alice weren't the only things that disappeared. My bracelet and my left hand. What? So they just... They're like, he's a robot, fuck it, just chop his hand off? A scream clawed its way out of my body, taking my mind with it. Then after that, nothing. Game over. Alright. What is this well, place? Well, it said laboratory on the door, didn't it? I figure that means they're dissecting frogs or building mine rays or something. More seeds. Saline solution. Alright, frog. What the hell? We're getting so much shit. Okay, that's not what I wanted to pick up. I wanted to pick up this, but okay. Okay, why is giving me so many moving pieces? All right. Preparation of hydroponic fluid and seeds. Preparation one, prepare the five different hydroponic fluids. Dilute, dilute with ratio one part fluid, 10 parts water. Each fluid has a distinct color. Preparation two, prepare the five types of plant seeds, two long seeds, three round seeds. Research has shown that there is a distinct and repeatable relationship between the fluid used and the, type of, and the type of seed. These relationships can be characterized in the following manner. The long seeds failed to germinate in three of the fluids. Ra oh my god, why is- this room is nuts! Why has it got so many fucking moving parts to it? Round seeds in fluid B yellow and fluid D cyan failed to germinate. None of the marked seeds germinated if put in fluid C. Non-marked seeds failed to germinate in fluid A or fluid B. When the striped seeds were put into fluid D and fluid E, n only one of them failed to germinate. But we're not telling you which one. La Mayo, fuck you. All right. All right. Look, the screen changed. Oh, okay, cool. Star, star, star. Yay! What the f- What? How? Alright, so rounds, long, rounds, long, round. So those are the three types of round seeds and the two types of long seeds. Okay. Beakers contain liquid culture. Each seed requires a particular kind of culture. Place each seed in an appropriate beaker. Press the check button after you put the seeds in the correct places. With each seed is correct culture, you have completed this puzzle. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but here it goes. Oh, this is easy. Okay. Um, th 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 we're done already. Failed. All right. So these two were right. All right. Done. Yay! <laughs> you did it so you sewed your seat. 
Don't say that! Huh? Why not? <laughs> Just... <laughs> Quiet, you two, look at that! And draw... Oh, a red castle! <laughs> what the fuck is... Is this for? Who is doing this? What? Okay, <laughs> what's wrong? I can see something in here. Oh, what the fuck? What the heck is this? This is it. This is Excelivir. It's the cure for Radical Six. Yeah. The vial. Could you show it to me again? Before I could blink, the vial disappeared from my hand. Hey, what gives? What are you doing? If you want this back, in the next AB game, you have to choose ally. Okay, this is dumb. You make any sudden moves and I'll smash it. Okay, then everyone literally kills you. And I mean literally. Like, li this is the stupidest plan. I mean, it's mutually assured destruction. You don't want to lose the flask. Whereas winning one time you lose the answer. Okay, yeah, but th what I mean is, why it's dumb is that there's no way out of this, out of this that doesn't end up with Dio dead. Like, if we go along with this then everyone's going to be so angry that they're just going to take him out of the game. He can't be trusted anymore. And if it turns out that it, that we do go along with it and then it comes out and, and he breaks the flask or anything, then he's going to die too. Like there's, there's no way. Like He's just basically shown his hand so hard that he, as soon as we're done with this AB game or before it, then he's out, you know? So vote betray that. So here's the problem is if I vote betray, Dio is going to be like, I told you to vote ally and now I'm going to smash this bottle. He's going to smash the bottle and everyone's going to be like, wow, Sigma, how could you? <laughs> Sigma, how could you not listen to the blackmail? Like, Show me that journal first. Dio told me about it. You wouldn't tell me anything about the lab, except that you found a journal with his words. Some sort of bullshit language. This is Latin. Latin? You mean you can read it? Yeah, with time and a dictionary. I can read this one. Page, page 216. It looks like they're talking about Radical Six. When the body is infected with Radical 6, the processing speed of the brain is reduced. This means that for each second that passes outside, the patient feels that only 0.408 seconds have passed inside. Those infected by Radical 6 eventually develop a powerful urge to commit suicide. The exact cause of this is- Oh, it is a suicide disease! Okay. Hey, weren't you coming to the infirmary with me? Change my mind. You can tell me about Quark later. Did you just morb? What on earth had I been thinking? How could I have ever considered letting a child die in my place? Suddenly, my cheeks felt hot with embarrassment and disgust. That I considered letting Quark die, even for a minute, was pathetic. There was only one choice. There had only ever been one choice. No way I was going to leave Quark to die. I'm voting Betray, by the way. I would really not want Joe to be on this side of a hostage situation. This isn't really a typical hostage situation, though. Like, if someone is actively, like, holding a weapon to someone else, then, okay, you want to make the best of that situation, but ethically, you're not, in, you know, at fault. But, like, this isn't really the same thing. Like... It is very, very plausible that we can either negotiate him down for not smashing the vial, or we can restrain him and get it from him. This isn't the this isn't the same thing at all. Like even in hostage situations where someone has a weapon at someone else's head, they still do sometimes just have to take a shot. As long as Ten Miyoji votes ally, I can't choose betray. If I do, K's BP will go up to nine. But what if he forces you? <laughs> you needn't worry. <laughs> what was that laugh? Ha ha ha! What was that? Really? <laughs> of course. Then you don't need to go in there. Excuse me? Alice can vote by herself. Oh, that's true! Damn, Fi is just best girl. And we don't have anything to worry about, right? Well, um, I apologize. But I'm afraid I can't agree to that. Whoa, what? Why not? I just can't. Uh, Shall we go, Alice? Okay, you're voting betray for sure? You don't understand. Dio told me that I have... <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna drop the vial, so <laughs> I have to make sure that Alice votes ally, or else he's gonna smash the vial. <laughs> he went and told fucking everyone. <laughs> Three, two, one. Do 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 do. We just have to keep an eye on Dio. As soon as he gives us an opening, we take it. I'm sure Alice will help us too. <laughs> Did you it's tell her? okay. We can trust Alice. You did. There's no way she told him. And everyone, ah, uh, she did tell Alice. Alice, why didn't you just like orchestrate something? What the hell? Al Alice went and told. K <laughs> Alice went and told K. <laughs> Dio has the vial, and he told me that you have to vote ally. <laughs> Whoa.
Holy shit. That's fucked up. Seriously. That's fucked up. He's not even here. Hey, what the hell is this? Get fucked, yo. <laughs> we found the accelerator in the laboratory. Oh, Dino now, now, it. now we're telling everyone. What? You mean he has it? Meanwhile, Kay's pulling the lever. <laughs> Dio snatched the vial out of his pocket, brought it up. All right, so Dio just killed himself. Bastard. Grrrrrg! I let out a guttural roar and let forward with the scalpel. Only to be stopped short by a firm hand on my arm. What do you mean this is not time for- Look at for the number nine door. <laughs> what is currently our highest priority? The answer is, of course, to save Quark. For that to happen, one of us must escape and call for help. Currently, the only one of us capable of doing so is myself. I do intend to call for help. Walks outside, shouts out help. Oh well, I did all I could. The number nine door has closed. Man, everyone in this in this game sucks except for Fi and, and Luna. Remember how much Joe hated Fi? Because so, she was quoting like weird shit. She stopped doing that. My eyes had lost the ability to focus, but I could make out a blur that had been Dio in front of the number nine door. I kept my promise. Now you. I wasn't a fool. I knew the kind of person Dio. Well, you actually are. With a shrug, he pulled the vial out of his pocket and tossed it toward me. In five minutes, I would be dead. What could I do in five minutes? So on the path where we betrayed a kid and didn't even kill them, we just took some points. We didn't even get to the door to open it. And in this path, Dio has literally killed us after using the kid as, as blackmail and possibly like destroying the cure and he's just still standing there like just horsing around like okay how could i save myself how there had to be something all right are we gonna morb to the um the injector gun to be continued really what what is this lock gonna be oh lamayo i'm a robot the drugs can't do anything to me so i just shook it off <laughs> I'm invincible. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's enough antiviral medication. All right, we've really narrowed it down now. There's there's only a few left to do. That's it. I've got it. The IG replicator in the laboratory. It's an immunoglobulin replication machine. Uh, that means we can make more Accelivir. Hold on a moment. There is a strange device in the laboratory that says IG replicator on it. How do you know that though, Sigma? How? how why, why is there only one bottle then? That's kind of weird. Clover and I examined it thoroughly when we were in that room. Yeah. Man, I can't wait for this all to make sense by the end, and I'm gonna be sitting here just happy as a clam on its birthday during the, the credits, being like, damn, that all made sense. And it every plot was resolved, every question answered, even set up some really good questions for the next one. Can't wait. Damn, what a what a good story, I'm gonna say. Never did did it work? Have a look. The empty vial has something in it now. And the vial Sigma used remains as it was. Okay, time to have a have a, a blackmail off with, with Dio. We're both gonna hand <laughs> vials up above our heads. <laughs> Come anywhere near me, I'm gonna smash it. Not if I smash mine first. You better do what I say. No, you have to do what I say. <laughs> Dio, you give me that bottle right now, or I'm gonna smash this bottle. No, Sigma. You have to give me your bottle, or I'm gonna smash my bottle. <laughs> it does not seem to have lost any of its contents. Uh, guys, take a look. <gasps> My god, it's a bomb of Excelivir. Uh, hey, what's this thing? I turned in time to see her grab something from under the table. It looks like a memory card. Ten Miyoji and Dio are a pair. Ten Miyoji only had one BP left. Since Dio said he's going to pick an ally. You know what? I believe him. If I can't really pick anything else, if she does, then Miyoji will... Um. How many BP do you guys have? I've got six. As do I. If one of them can get the other to ally and then betray that person, the betrayer will have nine points. 
Yeah, but no one's actually leaving now that we've discovered like a cure for Radical Six, right? We're gonna stick around and figure that out and possibly take more out with you. So you're not gonna be like, haha, I voted betray, peace out, suckers, and leave. Like you're gonna wanna take the, the cure with you. Like there's clearly something going on here. Is this where the story falls off the rails chat or it's revealed that there were no rails at all? I know. You would like us both to vote ally, yes? Yeah. <laughs> I agree. You're really gonna do it, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Promise? <laughs> Promise. Um, it's probably a little late to say this, but... I love you. You know Alice is still in the infirmary, so... We could vote Betray. <laughs> You're saying we should pick ally, right? Since Alice is going to default to that anyway? Yes. It would be a really shitty thing to vote Betray against the person that, uh, that can't vote themselves. Nine, Good thing Alice isn't eight, a person. She's a monster. Seven, Betray. Six, five, oh, Sigma, you're four, right. You made the right call. Three, I love you even more now. Two, Fuck Alice. One. I was two, clicking through that so fast eight, that if the mouse had been down here, it would it would have automatically went to betray. <laughs> See, you got lucky there. Like that was almost an accidental betray. Lou and I stepped out of the AB room, and then so did Alice. It turns out that she recovered really, really quickly and ran to the fucking the fucking thing to vote betray. <laughs> I know you're the reason why we had enough to cure me, Sigma. But you know, I just you gotta play the game. I just gotta get out of here. <laughs> Yeah! Ooh! What? How? Did she really? I was kidding! We just saved her life! How can Alice's vote be betray? It was a question I would never know the answer to. What do you mean? What do you mean we'd never know the answer? There was a sharp, quick pain in my wrist, barely even noticeable. Last time it took a lot longer, and we, we just superman through it. What the fuck? Alice. I hate her so much. The world was gradually going black and my mouth refused to form words, but my head echoed with question. Is it just a cardboard cutout of Alice and Tamioji is behind her holding it? What is this? How? Why? What was she doing there? Then the darkness closed over my mind as well and my questions were gone forever. Wow. I can't believe the get fucked I hate you Alice choice was actually the right one to do. What the hell? 30 seconds re- um, it's probably a little late to see. Yeah, get fucked, no. Luna. Yeah, you killed me. All right. Yeah, betray. Betray, betray. Betray, betray. Betray, betray. Yeah. Get fucked, Alice. Get fucked, Alice. Alice comes out. I was like, what? How did you know I would be in there? And Sigma's like, Sigma dabs and is like, I didn't. I just always want betray this against you. Get fucked, Alice. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> Please. This is kind of fucked up. We just had like a big team bonding moment where we got the we found the cure to a, to radical six. The fa figured out how to synthesize some more, saved two of the group, and then on that one, everyone votes betray instead of everyone having some kumbayas and voting ally. Like god damn, biggest shitters in here, in order. Like are Alice number one worst shitter in here, Dio number two, K number three. Then Clover 4, Quark is a question mark, Quark isn't even on here. Um, and then in terms of like out for themselves, I would say that Phi is actually more out for herself than Temmyoji. Then Phi, then Temmyoji, and then Luna is is the least shitter in here, and Sigma obviously is our choices, whatever whatever we do. <laughs> what is this? Alice? Is she in like some days and she just, you know, She's still recovering and she started wandering around in some sort of some kind of coma and she just reverted to her basic basic instincts which is to vote betray whenever she can and screw over her fellow man because that seems about right on brand for that right Alice drew to a stop in front of me and glanced up at the display thought you'd get an easy couple points huh oh my god what she she's not even like what no we you killed us last time Alice. What? <laughs> me a coward? You've got some balls saying that to me after you picked Betray. Why are you even here? You gave me the antivirus, didn't you? Yeah, we saved you and then you came and fucked us up. So Mioji told me. You did that just so you could betray us? Yeah, what the fuck, right? Right. What? Don't I get to do that? Uh, 
I don't know if it's just because it's it's Freshman. I don't remember ever hating a character as much as I have hated Alice right now. I I am, I'm fucking live. I'm fucking fuming. I don't remember ever hating a character as much as I hate Alice. I mean, it turned out to be the right thing to do, didn't it? Not on this path, only because we died last time. You two chose betray. Just because I, I morphed. If I'd stayed back there, I'd have lost two points. Oh no! But if you were wrong, you would have killed us. So, I don't want to be rude, but it looks like Clover and Kay tried to trick one another. Not that it seems to have worked. Don't let Alice deflect. Okay, so I just want to—I just want to say real quickly because sometimes people don't understand when when I get like this on on stream or whatever. Um. I hate Alice, I'm mad at Alice, but I'm not mad at the game. This is great. Like, this is really good. Like, the, the, the her being th this is very entertaining. Like, it's good, it's good writing. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not like, holy shit, I'm angry at the game, this is dumb. Like, I hate the character within the context of the game, and the game is, is setting it up well. In the end, everyone's just thinking about themselves. Yeah, but, oh my god. We were the most likely to vote ally, Alice, because Luna's in there, and why would we betray you? And we just saved you, so why would we do that? And even if we did vote betray, you just lose some points. If you're wrong, you killed us. Everyone else here knew what they were getting into and could judge the other person. You are absolutely insane. You are queen bitch. So like, I holy shit. Everyone's gone. Want to make out? You aren't going to leave too? No. Are you sure I chose Betray? I know, but I still believe in you, Sigma. I think your hand must have just slipped or something. That, that's true, yeah. Right? It almost actually did. <laughs> oh, if only it had. That would have been so good if I had double clicked through by accident. That would have been so good. <laughs> Maybe it would help if we all had a common goal. Something to unite our hearts and minds. Well... What if we have an enemy? Alice? An enemy? Yes. A common foe. Alice? Well, like the person who set the bombs, for instance. Alice? Let's frame Alice. You know what? It's not even a frame at this point. It was Alice. I saw her do it. I did. Yep. Let me morb. Pretending to morb is pretty hard, but, you know, I've morbed so much now that I'm pretty good at doing it. Now the time time to see the balance shift. It was Alice. I saw her do it. Oh, please. Oh, please. Please let us more back to the part where we point fingers and point at Alice. Please. Oh, after she gave out some quick the Excelivir. <laughs> okay, why aren't we going to see if we can go synthesize more Excelivir? Memory card. It was under the bomb we found in the lab. God, it's like one of my videos. Just finish a fucking point before you go to the next one. There's so many loose threads. Just go and synthesize more Excelivir. Just fucking like, god damn it. Like what the fuck? What are you doing here? Killing you. I opened my mouth to retort, then thought better of it. If I really wanted people to start trusting each other, well, real change starts at home. What? Sigma, this is not on the grind set, my dude. Within moments, the screen was filled with what appeared to be random letters. What is this? I believe this is an encoded message from a terrorist organization. Uh-huh. What? They call themselves the Myrmidons. I think it's time you told us what you do. Sorry, but I can't. Of course you can't. <laughs> because Why not? you might be one of them. You might be the person who set the bomb. We saved your life, Alice. <laughs> That's idiotic. Of course I'm really? not. And where's your proof? We saved your life. For all I know, you're my enemy. I can't tell you anything. Sigma, for the love of God, please. <laughs> I'm not your enemy. I'm your ally. I'm your friend. I just want all of us to get out of here. To out of here. Before I could blink, she'd left up and run out of the room. You don't hate me? I do, yes. I tried to kill you. Uh-huh. Okay, I need to channel all my energy through the morb field to change the story right now. Sigma, please, for the love of God, be faking this right now. All I could think about was getting out of this place as fast as I could. It never even crossed my mind that it could kill you. God help me, it, even if it had, I don't think I would have cared. See? I'm horrible. I agree, yep. You hate me, don't you? I do, yep. Just do it! When I reached out, I saw her tense just slightly. Slowly, I brushed my thumb across her cheek and off, taking her tears with it. Why are you doing this? You know, you kind of remind me of my father.
then from now on, you can call me daddy. That's who you were after, right? The people who killed your dad? Yes. Will you promise not to tell Clover that I cried? Ha, if you come keep on. your mouth shut, I'll tell you what you want to know. Worst redemption arc in all of fiction. My father is Egyptian, but my mother is French. Okay, this explains a lot. My father was... <laughs> my father was... <laughs> and his field was cl cloning? Wait, hold on. Are we actually here, Dad? He was recruited by an American lab, which is why he moved. My father's lab had been attacked by terrorists, and he had been kidnapped. After graduation, I took a job with the Department of Defense, hoping that they might have the resources to help me look for my father. Eventually, I learned that the terrorist organization that had taken my father was none other than the Myrmidons, although at the time, that name didn't mean anything to me. So what I'm getting from the story so far is that your mom is single. I hope that our investigation might also give me a lead on my father's whereabouts. At last, I had a chance to find out what had happened to him. The whole operation was a trap. How? Seriously, how? The lab was a fake and Clover was captured almost- I, I just don't understand how the lab can be a fake- How do you have a fake lab? Th just to kidnap what- <sighs> But on the floor next to her was another body. Oh. It was my father. Was it though? He looked as if he'd just been dumped there. And when I got to him, his body was already cold. That- that's a clone of her dad, right? They killed a clone- they, It's a cloning lab! So they cloned her dad, and beat the shit out of the clone, and it's like, Mwahaha! Now it's, it's, a, it's a fake lab, fake dad, fake beating... <laughs> fake operation! <laughs> Who here is a Myrmidon? One of us planted the bombs. Okay, we know, but I guess that's not Morbin back just yet. Well, if I could decrypt that code, it might tell us something, but... Could that be... Seven eight one five three six one zero nine eight eight three eight zero nine four two four one nine nine zero five five one. What the hell? Five That's five one. One hundred ninety eight million four hundred forty nine thousand three hundred fifty one to the third power. What? Okay, fuck off. I'm like, no. Don't tell me you just did all that in your head. I did do all of that in my head. I don't believe you. You're a remembered on. Simple mental arithmetic. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. The prime number Alice had given me was 1984493. Okay, I hope we don't have to do it. So what we get if we picked our letters like she explained? First letter would be C from the top left. Then you move on to the, to the right, which would give you O. Then eight more to the right. Eventually we get a word. And that word was... No! I don't want to do it! No! Just do it first! for me no this is gonna be so tedious all right let's do it all right let's just do it right now <laughs> all right <laughs> okay okay that's it c o m p l p k l u j all right complex <laughs> all right that's it of course it's complex barely even heard her. Suddenly, my mind was full of memories that hadn't been there a moment before. We're Morbin. We're Morbin. Just come with me. Kay's trying to calm them down, but there's only one of him. Okay, okay. Come on, Alice, let's go. There's actually more than one of him. Coming. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> See, the thing is, I figured out who planted the bombs. What? Why are you... you Bitch, you were there. Dio, Myrmidon says what? What? <gasps> got him. Damn, he got me. Yeah, I'm a Myrmidon. They're going to admit their guilt in just a few minutes. What? Fun as it was, I knew taunting alone wouldn't be enough to make Dio confess. He just played dumb. He was good at it. And I get nothing. That meant I was going to have to trick him. Well, you see, I'm actually from Free the Soul. I pressed forward, pulling out every fact I could remember. I told Dio about Brother's background and how his younger brother left had been murdered. I mentioned casually that the Myrmidons were all clones of a single person. Okay, why the- why- okay, what's his context here? What's he like- oh yeah, you know this information. Seems legit. Alright, I am. Like, wh why? No, that's not possible. Okay. How is this working, finally? Why would he make me the leader of the Myrmidons if he- Huh? Sorry, what was that? I said, why would he have made me the leader of the Myrmidons if- this is phenomenally fucking stupid. Heh. <laughs> Got him. The balance has shifted. I grinned. I am going to kill you! Her voice rose to a scream as she charged toward Dio. He ducked out of the way smoothly and pulled something out from his pocket. Whoa there. 
Yeah, detonator time. Oh, okay. Well, th there goes the element of surprise. All right. Damn it. Okay. Stop. Damn. If only we could have done this for the bottle. Let me go. It was impossible back then. See that detonator you threw to Sigma? You activated it. If it gets more than a meter away from me, it sets itself off. Quickly go back to him. Why did you throw it to me, Clover? Okay. Well, let's just more back and do it. How long do we have? <laughs> About 30 minutes. Oh, wait. There is something in here. Clover pulled her hand from his pocket and held it out. Is that a pill, like for medicine? Hey, what is this? Huh? I can't see it. Bring it over here. No. 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 Oh my God. Clover frowned and moved closer to Dio, holding the pill out toward him. And then he just chomped it down. Suddenly he moved, his right hand sneaking out to grab the pill from Clover's hand. Before anyone could react, he shoved it in his mouth. Fine, don't tell us. How about you give us the deactivation codes instead? Yeah, we have them, don't Deactivation. <laughs> you guys are persistent. Fine. I'm not gonna do you much good anyway. Wait, what? I'll tell you. W why would you? But you only get one. This is the deactivation code for bomb three. Okay, let's morb and this time ask for two. And then morb again and ask for one. Ready? Okay, Damn. so are we gonna have to morb from another line to get one of the other passwords? And is Phi gonna morb for another one? That'd be nice if Phi morbed back, but all of our searching turned up nothing. Alice and. Still hit Alice more than Dio? Yep. The person. Is you, Dio. Okay, are we going to go through the same song and dance, like, both paths, and each time he's going to give us a different bomb code? <laughs> that time he gave us three, this time he's going to give us two. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Kamer, could you hold him down? <laughs> uh, uh, well, hey, Grandpa, your hearing gone? I said back off. No. <sighs> Based. You. Based. I um, see that detonator you're holding. It's fake. I switched it. It's a fake. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is he starting to morph now too? <laughs> For just an instant, Dio's eyes twitched down to the device in his hand. That is what all, that was all the opening Tamiyoji needed. Yeah! Oh, he see he faked the fake. He cried out as he leapt through the air. Why would he think that was real? Then Tamiyoji's like, sh like shot out, knocking the detonator from Dio's hand. All right, I'll tell you the code to bomb three. No, 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 no. Give us another one. Uh, why? I'm dying from the pill. Nah, just not. We don't like the number three. Oh, I don't know why you're saying that, Sigma, but. Uh, all right, here's the code to bomb two. <laughs> this old fart. You get to well, I'm out. Peace. I threw myself toward Dio and wrapped my hand around his wrist, slamming to the floor. Yeah, there's something else I did. I forgot to tell you. He also has a, a, a suicide pill. God damn it, Sigma. You're just <laughs> fucking talk, Sigma. I forgot to tell him about the fucking dead man switch. I also forgot to tell him about the detonator in general. Didn't tell him about the cyanide pill plus maidenless. But he doesn't have a note or anything with the codes on it. <laughs> well, only one option left, eh? Excuse me. Yeah. And that is Morbin time. Wouldn't it be cool if we got Morb to something that we hadn't seen yet? That'd be interesting. I think that would break the continuity kind of the players, the field part of the game though. But that would be interesting. Okay. So what do we do? Get the input device ready. So what are you supposed to do? I mean, you do have some sort of plan, well, it's right? It's not like I don't have one. I didn't say that. I know the you code need to this to make one. A jump. To jump? Yeah, to another world. You didn't okay. just guess that Dio set the bombs, did you? You knew it, because you remembered it happening in another history, didn't you? Also, why should I have to do everything? Can't you jump too? My jumps happen suddenly, out of the blue. That's how mine work too. I can't control them. Neither can I. Mm. Neither can I. What the fuck? Oh no! God damn it! Oh shit! Oh. Fucking hell. All right, consider this. Maybe we've already jumped from another history to this one. We have, yep. But our memories of that history got damaged or something. If we can remember even a little bit though. Anyway, it's just a hypothesis. Are you saying I might know it already? I'm not saying that. And I just have to try and remember it? Yeah. Ooh, direct. I just... N-M-R. 
Hey. So we're heading to the control room. Right. All right. No time to waste. To the casino. Oh, and don't forget the input device. Oh, what if I did? That would be awkward. Quickly, more back and tell yourself not to forget it. Hurry it up. Plug in the password. I don't know this one. This is bad. This is bad. What the hell are we gonna do? More, more right now. I want you to morb me as hard as you can. What did you say? Try and remember it. Morb. I'm pondering the morb. Imagine if I got it. Just, just imagine if I got it. Where's my phone? Just imagine if I got. It. <laughs> before, well, before it ends, I wanted to tell you thanks. You knew we were about to die, but you still stuck with me. <laughs> A lot of people wouldn't have done that. Oh, I remember this. I've morbed here before. Anyway, thanks. So I wonder how this works with the jumping. Does that mean there are multiple realities and multiple timelines where they die and that's just like, you just have to be the one lucky timeline where everything morbed over to you? Is the proof it wasn't murder? All right, I want to do that one and hopefully it doesn't extend. There's no way, right? There's no way. Clover, listen to me. Alice wasn't killed. Nobody murdered her. She she took her own life. What? No. A achievement unlocked. I can't believe it's not murder. Turn to page 216. You should be able to read that one. I can read this page. How did you know? I'm morbed. No. I just knew. You just knew. Come on. Ah, have not morphed before then. Okay, it's got to have extended now, right? Here we go. What the f Okay, are we actually doing an escape room? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. 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 Alright, it's got to have extended now, right? squares what the fuck do they all extend does this one extend too what the fuck got all these weird shapes on the back i think maybe if you line them up in a particular way then you'll get some sort of hint place the business cards in the correct order by clicking one business card and then another you can swap the positions oh fuck Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Three, four, double O, three, eight, N with bunny ears. Okay, that's it. It's three, four, double O, three, eight. And with bunny ears, I've solved it. Face not recognized, gender mismatch. How long has he had that in his pocket? It looks like a piece of paper. No, it's a picture. So, who is this girl? Hey, stop. Her name is Akane Kurashiki. I've been looking for her for a long time. Why? Because she's his first love. Okay, so that's a big confirmation, I think, but, well, it's not 100% confirmed, but it's pretty up there. Okay, I'll just use this slingshot to, oh, hold on there. Do you actually have something in the fire? Oh, no, I guess I don't. What are you gonna shoot it with then? With mind bullets. It's called Elegation Sigma. <laughs> Was that a Tenacious D reference? What the fuck? A bookshelf, something's off about it. Okay, that's not it. That's it. All right. Oh, the women are requesting the following positions. All right, that's it. We're done, right? This is it. All right. S solved. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Did I make a mistake somewhere? Okay, let's have a look at the back of the business cards. All right. Book 334. That was really a K? Holy shit. All right. One of these books. 334. 334. Wait. I don't think you need to move the books around anymore. Remember? The back of the book said book 334. So if that meant to the range of books in order 334. Oh, yeah. I guess. Uh, I did. That looks like that looks like a puzzle. It is. It's a silhouette puzzle called a tangram. Move or rotate the triangles and squares to get the shape you need. I, I have a 
deep sense of foreboding. Like, like I'm actually scared. I have no idea what this is. Let's give it a shot. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. What do you want? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, I'm guessing we have to make this. I don't I don't even know where to start. Alright, I did it, that's it, there you go. We know, alright, um fuck. Oh <gasps> my god, that's it. Hooray! So that sucked. No! Damn it! What's wrong? I left something in the director's office. Did you really leave the photograph of your waifu? The picture. Oh, what the hell? Why don't you head back to the warehouse, Sigma? Before long, 20 minutes have passed since Dio opened the door and Tamioji and Quark were nowhere in sight. I'll go have a look. I packed up the map and was headed toward the door when... Huh? There was a light on where there hadn't been a light before. So, you finally made it. Okay, so that's us? That's what we look like? Okay. No, no. I here. am Zero. So we're Zero? Okay, cool. I was the one who brought you here. Uh-huh. I have chosen two things of great importance to tell you. All right, tell us in order. One. First. Yep. I will tell you about termites. <laughs> Did you know that termites can digest five times their body weight in a day? <laughs> Termites. They're such fascinating creatures. <laughs> In retrospect, I suppose that's a rather odd thing to say. Have you ever seen a termite mound? They are splendid structures. Some might even call them works of art. So, are they following some sort of plan as they build? Are there termite blueprints detailing which room goes where? No, of course not. I mean, did you ask? Each termite is simply an oblivious cog in a tremendous machine programmed by millions of years of termite DNA. It is doubtful an individual termite has any idea what its contributions are helping to create. But a human does. We can appreciate the elegant forms of their alien cathedrals. Now, consider humans. What if there's an even higher intelligence that can understand the beauty of what we do more than we do? What would we look like to them? Uh, too deep. Too deep. No doubt you see now what this analogy is supposed to illustrate. I don't. Yes, I mean to say humans are not different from termites. <laughs> okay, I did then. I thought you were going to have a better point, but no. <laughs> Alright, sorry. I took it back. I did understand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this guy kidnapped. <laughs> we trudge through our lives with no greater understanding of our ultimate goal. This is a plot hole. There's no way he could have designed that that stumpathon fucking shape puzzle yesterday. No way. There's no way he could have designed that. What the hell? If only an intelligence of a higher order than ours can understand. Catch a glimpse of it, or have you already? Let's move on to the second topic. It is the password to disarm the bomb, numbered one. What? How do you? But Dio's not supposed to be here. Wait, does even Dio? Dio doesn't know that he is supposed to be here? Are you also morbing? Hey, Bikoi. B Q Z. B Q Z. All right. So now we just need number one. We could guess number one. Quark and I both have eight BP. We're already on the home stretch. We don't have any reason to betray you. And if we both choose ally, we both gain points. True, but you must have also must have considered that I'll choose betray. That would mean you'd choose betray to protect yourself. That's why we're telling you we won't choose betray. Ah. <laughs> ah. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. How do I know you aren't going to just open the number nine door and leave us in the lurch? I can guarantee it. Oh, how? How? I can give you my word. 
I will not open the number nine door, okay. even if I have enough points to do so. J uh, source, dude, just trust me. Like, uh... I swear it. Okay. You gotta choose ally. Uh huh. You promised. Okay, so they're voting betray for sure, but I'm voting ally. To Miyoji, I could betray easily enough, but Quark, what? I would choose. I would betray Quark way before I betray Tamiyoji. I would betray Tamiyoji too, but you know what the hell was I going to do? Boop, boop. You guys are idiots. You guys are idiots. We're idiots. I knew it. Hey, what the fuck, guys? Why'd you betray me? Quark had nothing to do with this. I made the vote. Grandpa. Alright, fine. I don't believe you. Why did you break your promise, Temioji? I only promised you one thing. I wasn't gonna leave. We wouldn't open the number nine door, even if we got nine points. What? So you're not gonna leave? No, I didn't say that. We have 11, not nine. Not what I said. <laughs> of course we're going to leave. <laughs> what? Look, see Clover over there? What? She's she's already opening the Clover. What the fuck? Clover is just the fastest person at opening this fucking door. She's like a shark smelling blood. As soon as she has that point, she's just fucking there. Like, she doesn't even go to the result screen. She just goes straight to the fucking lever. Don't tell. How are we letting her do this? No, what the? We can do the game forever! Chat, why are they so dumb? Oh my god! Are you really going to leave? Well, yeah. <laughs> why else would I open the door? So, Sigma, happy? I kept my promise. Clover opened the door, not me. Like hell, I'm happy. That's some shady shit, Tamiyoji. Say so. I have to get out of here, and that's that. Okay, like. I honestly don't think I would let him leave if I was in this position. I, I really feel like I would just hold him down and like may, maybe I would let Quark go, I guess. I don't know. But like, I, I actually don't think I would let him go. This is for you, Mr. Sigma. And then he punches us. Quark held something out. I looked down to see two pieces of folded paper. What is this? It's a letter. I wrote it in the director's office before the AB game. She pressed into my hand. Why is no one asking Tamiyoji anything? Before I could think of anything to say. See you. See you. Goodbye. All right. I hate anime. I hate anime so much. I hate anime so much. So much I hate anime. I hate anime so much. By anime right now, I mean just this type of really shitty writing where people just don't talk. It's not It's not unique to anime, but anime does it the best. I looked down at Quark's letter and slowly unfolded it. He'd filled both pages of the writing. I began to read. Dear loser, it was a really stormy day when he found me. He said the rain was coming down so hard it almost hurt, but somehow he managed to hear a baby crying. I guess I must have been crying pretty loud. He took me home and did his best to raise me, but he'd never been married or had a kid before, so I think it was really hard for him. He couldn't figure out how to mix the formula, so he was always carrying the directions around with him. Wait, this is the easiest thing in the world. What? What do you mean he couldn't figure out how to mix the formula? Oh, uh. Grandpa didn't need to worry though because it turned out that I was pretty tough. When I was one, he forgot I was sleeping in the bed of his truck and drove off. I. <laughs> I rolled out and went off the back, but I didn't even get scratched. I saw. Are you Superman? I started walking when I was two, and when he wasn't looking, I fell down the stairs. His job was to gather junk from abandoned buildings. Then he'd fix it up or pull out the useful parts and sell them. The theater came to our town once a week in a wagon. What? Uh, they'd show old news or movies. Uh, oh, 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 fuck. Why does he want to get out there then? Oh, shit. I don't, well, this heavily implies that they're in the apocalypse and that's why he's getting collecting junk and shit. 
I guess after Grandpa found me, he looked all over town to try and find someone to take me. The kid from my block actually had a mom, and he'd asked her if she would take me too. I gotta admit, I was pretty shocked when I heard that. There weren't a lot of kids with parents around, so he yeah. So hearing that someone lived with his actual mom was pretty impressive. The kid who told me about Grandpa try trying to get rid of me was a real jerk. He was totally spoiled, and he bragged to everyone about how he had a mom. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Holy shit. Was it Kay? He liked to come up to me while I was working and say stuff like, must be hard not having a mother. Holy fuck. All right. <laughs> Holy shit. It never bothered me before. But after I found out that Grandpa had adopted me, I started to think that maybe he didn't really want me. Then one day, he took me to a bar in our neighborhood. Eventually, the bartender came back over with a glass of scotch and another big glass full of something else. Oh, it's the root beer float. As I looked closer, I realized that the second glass was full of some sort of brown liquid with a scoop of ice cream in it. I'd never seen one before. I was so surprised. To me and the other kids, it seemed more like an urban legend than a real drink. Is this really mine? He nodded. Words can't describe how awesome it was. I'd never tasted anything like root beer before. I felt like the luckiest boy in the whole world. That's not an exaggeration. I really thought that. The root beer float was delicious. This doesn't really feel like Quark wrote it, huh? Considering- I guess someone's writing voice is a lot different than their speaking voice, and he might feel more confident when he's sitting there actually writing it out and getting into the story flow and everything like that, but yeah, this doesn't really feel like Quark is saying this. But what made me even happier was Grandpa. When I looked over him, he was smiling. I know that's gotta be hard for you to imagine, but he really was. Right then, I didn't care whether he just found me or adopted me or not. He brought me- he bought me a root beer float. That made me way luckier than some kid who had a mother but had never tasted root beer. Aww. That's a pretty good paragraph. I like that. Of course, after we left the bar, he was the first kid I bragged to. <laughs> so Grandpa and I were doing pretty good. Until the fight. The day was almost over and I was fed up, so I just grabbed some random trash and took it back to the house. He started going through each thing I'd brought back, explaining why they were all useless. I got really mad and just yelled, I don't care. Then he got mad and I couldn't take it anymore, so I ran away. It kept raining all night and he never showed up. I gave up waiting and decided it was time to go home. I was about halfway there when I heard somebody groaning. At first I thought I should just ignore it and it was not involved, but, I went, but when I went over anyway and it was Grandpa. He had beaten the shit out of that kid with a mom. He was totally soaked, but I could tell right away that he'd been there for a really long time. I yelled and he opened his eyes a little bit. He smiled weakly and said he was glad I was safe. He spent all night on the rain looking for me. He got a real bad fever and his temperature wouldn't go down for days. The doctor said that if it kept up, he'd die. Fortunately, I must have passed some of my luck on to Grandpa because a week later his fever finally broke. Okay, so this is pointless. All of the things I'd worried about had been stupid and selfish. Grandpa cared about me a whole lot. He'd been worried when I ran off, and he'd gone out in the rain to look for me. I started to apologize, but when I opened my mouth, I just started crying. He told me that he was looking for a really important lady, and because of that, he'd had to give up on pretty much everything else in his life. But when he took me in and started raising me, he felt like he'd gotten some of what he lost back. That was when I decided I'd stay with him forever, even if he said I couldn't. No, you gotta move out sometime, Finn. No, no, you gotta move out sometime. No, no. No, 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 didn't agree to that. No, 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 okay, so that was very interesting. That was probably the best ending of them all so far. That was, that was actually a pretty good little story there. I liked that, and it revealed a lot about the world without actually outright saying it. It was very, like, anchored in the perspective of, of a child that has grown up with their grandfather. It doesn't really sound like a child wrote it, but in terms of, like, the sentence structure and everything, but in terms of, like, the details of the story, and it didn't start off with, hey, let me tell you something. It turns out that a while ago, in 19-fucking-58, like, the Radical Six came out, and then it mutated over the years, and then everyone died right before I was born. Like, it's, it's, not, it's not like that sort of shit. It was actually, it had an emotional anchor to it, and, like, it, it was threaded throughout the whole thing. Um, so that was pretty good. Um... I'm very interested in one thing and I'm very angry about one another thing. So they could they could justify the anger though. So I'm angry that I feel like Quark and Temioji haven't been speaking and been honest with the rest of the Scooby gang. I guess they could explain that Temioji told Quark to stay quiet or whatever, but uh, I don't know. I feel like it's just a lack of communication just to make things more interesting to have this reveal. Like, I don't know. Oh, that's Temioji's end. That, that might be my favorite part of the game so far in terms of like standard storytelling. Um, but my favorite part of the, the game so far, like by a landslide, is um, how it's handling the morbing between different timelines and how that's kind of kind of breaking the continuity even when it said it wasn't even going to break the continuity. And I like the conversations you have with Phi when when you're both morbing together and it's like, holy shit, you can morb too? It's like, yeah, that, that's, that's pretty good. So why'd you choose Betray? Couldn't I ask you the same thing? I don't really think this is the time for a fight, though. 
Look, Clover's over by the door. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> In, like flow chart or computer algorithm just when clover have over a nine clover go to door and pull lever no matter what going on clover go over there like just, just. all right i'm changing my ranking to alice being the worst person in here then dio then clover and then k it used to be k then clover i'm changing it to clover then k i get why they did this but it's a bit shit isn't it I wonder if there's a better way they could have done this. I can't think of a better way to do this right now, but it is, it is a bit shit to have these, like, just, oh, dead ends at everyone. But it does give you a choice, and that's fine. I like that it does actually give you a leg legitimate choice, and you can be like, hmm. But, you know, it just it just ends, and, like, the characters act kind of dumb. All right, so this is going to be who set us up the bomb achievement B, I think. I'll give you one, since I'm such a swell guy. The password for bomb number two is... Yay! All right. E Q D D Y R N T K. Besides, why the hell are you cracking jokes right now? I'm just um trying to show you that life is still worth living. What is this pose? Oh my god, are you trying to be sultry? After all, if you quit now, there goes any possibility of you ever seeing me in a swimsuit. I fucking hate anime. <laughs> I seem to have made a mistake. I knew you couldn't use the atom without me. So I stayed behind because I thought I might be able to help. I guess I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Aw, uh, let her scan you. Come on. Bye. No, waifu, no. She turned her head toward the exit. Wow, you're a mo- Oh, she's walking really slowly. Yeah, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Did she walk like they do out, like, in Arrested Development? Head, head looking down, shoulders slumped. Okay, let's do it. Analyze my body. Well... It says you're not a robot. Really? No. You're human. Uh, really? But... But your body isn't entirely human. The structure of the bones in your arms isn't anything close to human. Wait, just our arms are robots. Hold on, like... Is all is all of his blood white then? Like they replaced all of his blood along with that with synthetic blood? Because if he cut his chest right now, would it be red? Because if that's the case, how is it mixing? How how did the drugs work when he gets injected with the thing then? How do you know that? I just do. Uh, did you make them? That's not an answer. Yes, you're right. But not everything has an answer. I guess there could be some sort of like connective like membrane at the arms that has like a an exchange thing where it keeps them separate in their own like circulations but there's still an exchange through it kind of like how how um, your digestion process works that sort of thing I guess that could work as an there answer are some things you just can't explain what don't you know how that feels how did you know about the garden how did you know that Dio planted the bombs oh you're morbing too Sigma there's one last thing I was given very specific instructions whoa. Should you encounter a two-headed lion devouring the sun, remember, GTF BM L 016. Good to fuck. Download me. Lol. <laughs> All right. Is that is that the the um? <laughs> this is just a fucking disaster. <laughs> GTF, GTF. <laughs> All right. With this key, the first gate shall be open to you. Okay, so this is two characters now that have been like, "Hey, I was told to do this." K and Clover. Me and Fire are morbid all over the place. Dio is an intruder. Semyoji and Quark seem to be just along for the ride as we are. Honestly, Alice and Clover feel like they're just here just to just to fill a spot. Sig that oh that was the sigma ending oh oh okay oh what's this one five minutes okay are are we gonna chop off our arm we are right we're totally gonna chop off our arm oh please what? oh please oh please chop off your arm the fact that my arms were mechan mechanical however that might be useful 
What are you waiting for? Why don't you open it already? What? Did I start? Oh no! Oh shit! Really? Was that gonna work? Okay, alright, yeah, okay, let's go open the number nine door. That's hardcore. What? This is gonna be metal as fuck. It's pretty thick though, like you're gonna lose more of your arm than you really need to. Are you gonna- are you gonna be smart though and actually put it like on the bracelet? This is what the fucker's about to go in shoulder deep. <laughs> Shoulder deep. He's gonna, whoa, whoa. <laughs> just get going already. Oh, did it wear off? But just, just UK. Huh? My wearied body could supply. Launch myself toward him like a coiled spring. Yes! Finally! Finally! Let's go! I slammed into his legs, knocking him to the floor and wrapping my arms around his ankle before he could get back up. Why are you doing this? I kept my promise, didn't I? Yeah, so did I. As far as I recall, I didn't say anything about letting you escape. Ross what? We're taking a page out of the Tamiyoji book of promises. Shit. He's right. <laughs> yeah, shit, right. Yeah, you didn't promise that. Okay, damn. I guess we're done. Stop screwing around, <laughs> asshole. I have to get out of here. No, I... I'm going to live. <sighs> Finally awake, huh? You were trying to cross the border, right? Where am I? I guess they carried you out here after you passed out. Oh, God. No, put me back under. Are you saying that we were rescued because we're all that's left of humanity? Yeah. We were brought here because someone knew there would be a pandemic that would turn us into an endangered species? Does that mean we're supposed to... repopulate the planet? Yes. Repopulate? Repopulate? Oh, no. <laughs> I looked around, did a quick inventory. Oh, we're just going there. All right, okay, cool. All right, we're actually taking it seriously. Four women, an old man, and a kid. That meant I was the only young, fertile male. Repopulation, huh? That didn't sound so bad. <laughs> that was the, wait, is this an ending? <laughs> Maybe there wasn't any reason to escape. <laughs> she pulled something out, pulled something from one of the old woman's sleeves and held it out toward me. A car. Really? Really? A card? Looks like an ID card for this place. Oh my god. Since it's got her picture on it, I'd say it's a safe bet the card is hers. Oh my god. Anything on the back? And then Temyoji's like frothing at the mouth. <laughs> oh! Fucking hell! Oh my god! You're a jumpy doll now. Alice! What's wrong? Her hand moved, lifting the scalpel up high in the air, then uh. driving it down toward her heart. Ah! Uh, what? So, a Alice ended the story? That's dumb. Alright, well, Quark's ending fucking sucks. That's the worst ending yet. All right, solve the mystery of the two-headed lion. All right, Milky Voli. Yay! How did you figure out the login? I don't know. I just, I just knew it. What the hell do you mean you just knew it? I'm morbed. Why do you know how to log into this computer? Are you even listening to me? Fi, in the year 2022. The greatest movie of all time was released in theaters. Flash new screen, Morbius. It was an immediate hit, but it turns out that anyone who didn't see the movie was given a special power to morb. We continue to heal another for some Morbius. <laughs> golem unit details. Are these product specifications for a golem? Wait, is K a robot in a robot suit? Or is it Luna's ID? Oh, waifu, no! Luna's the robot! <gasps> no! Oh well. God damn, that might have been my last choice if I had to pick who's a robot. And she's there saying, talking to us about how, oh, are you a robot? It turns out she was the robot all along. Classic robot deception. Alright, I'm still in, but you know. Appearance after application of ABT. It is this special artificial biological tissue, what's called ABT. <laughs> Remember when he just never came back? Like... 
<laughs> For one scene, there was a talking fucking robot, and then he died and just never came back. When a golem's all mean and shy. Wait, what the hell? Luna's di You think robots die? She was only injected with muscle relaxant. Could you imagine like 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 touching someone like you have you have like your fingers on their neck and they're alive and everything but they don't have a pulse, right? They feel warm and they feel fine, they feel normal but they don't have a pulse. That would be so hot. It's so weird. Like Here are the last 3 digits of her product ID. <laughs> 1016. And where have we seen that before? No. No. How would Clover know that? How? How would Clover know that? Did Luna do that? What about the law of ro robotics that she's not allowed to fucking kill someone, mate? Like, what? If we don't vote, we're going to get penalized. Oh, no. You're going to vote ally, right? I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying that right now. Off we go, then. <laughs> yeah, with her bracelet, there's three in this room. All right, I'm just gonna oh, just gonna leave it outside then, and then she like fucking picks it up and goes and votes betray. Somehow, <laughs> if we vote vote ally. It comes up somehow. Alice resurrected from the dead, crawled with the scalpel still in her chest out of the crew quarters, drags her body into, into the fucking thing, picks up Luna's bracelet. Goes over, it's not even her points anymore. Reaches up, hits Betray. <laughs> Fuck you, Sigma. <laughs> I stepped outside. Thought you could get some free points. Huh? No, not on my watch. Sigma. Huh? <laughs> I, I, God, I, I hope to God that it was Dio. And she just tried to write Dio, but messed up and it turned into a, a six. And we think it was that, and it turns out, no, she just fucked up writing Dio. <laughs> it was Luna. She's probably planning on participating in the game. Oh, she didn't vote. I thought so. She didn't pick it up. Without the bracelet, she couldn't have voted. Then... Even as I spoke, part of me knew what they were. I didn't know how or why. But I felt a strong sense of deja vu when I looked at them and suddenly realized I knew exactly how to operate the pods. I get deja vu all the time. Does that mean I'm morbing? Oh man, am I a morber? Am I a morbhead? Holy shit. With a heavy labored groan, the number nine door began to open. Inside was a massive- Oh no! Inside was a massive lift pro platform like the kind used to move the industrial cargo. Fi turned to face me and I shoved Quark into her arms. Okay, there we go. Alright. Fuck you, Fi! Before she could respond, I spun around and ran. Luna. I knew you'd be here. Clover's left hand was in the, was in the handcuffs. That means she would have had to write it with her right hand on her right thigh. I feel like it would be really hard to do that, you know? No, not even a little bit. And also, she didn't have to do it on her thigh. Why not just use your left thigh? The thing is, I think she did. What? No! Fuck off! And she just didn't check the other thigh? Which, no, didn't I say that as a fucking joke? We just never saw the original because we didn't bother to check the other leg. What? In other words, she wasn't trying to write the one zero one six. She was trying to write Dio. Why do you trust me so much? I'm a machine. That's why I trust you. What? Don't say the law of robotics. Tell her that she's sweet and kind and good nature and you can tell. Don't just say because you're a robot what? I trust you because you're a uh, for fuck's sake, Sigma. Your robotness is just one more reason you can't be the killer. Well, three more reasons. Here we go. Why would you not say that? Why are you trying to woo a robot? I will not be kink shamed in my own house. No. Well, first, yes. Dio did sneak into the facility. He did get in pretty easily. But that's because Zero Jr. lured him here. Both Zeros knew that he was going to come. How? They morbed? They brought him here? No way. God, morbing is just the ultimate defense for anything that goes wrong with setting up the story, huh? No matter what. No matter what happens. Actually, we built this this place a couple of kilometers away from where the meteor crashed in. So we knew we were close. How did you know it was going to happen? We morbed. 
oh, uh, you know, actually we knew exactly what was going to happen with the outcome of this experiment, and we knew that we could put, like, lethal traps all over the place and none of you would ever walk into them. How did you know that? Oh, we morbed. One of us has morbed back from the future and An knows that I get killed early on. Dio will be entering this facility presently. This is the only timeline that, that our plan succeeds, so we have to make sure that it goes along with that. Really, there's no other timeline that succeeds other than the one where someone sneaks in with antimatter bombs and stabs you and replaces you with the sand? No, there's no other timeline where it succeeds. Okay. Your only concern is to follow your orders. Okay, it's been like confirmed without a shadow of a doubt that this is June A at this point. And this conversation, I'm sitting here going, oh my god, this isn't June A. <laughs> Just, who the fuck is this? Like, my god, I guess 50 years is enough time for character development in an anime. Like, god damn, like, this is, this is just nothing like her at all. Like, how did you move the body without Dio seeing it? As soon as you came out, wouldn't Dio have been like, hey, what's going on? I'm Dio. Like, Dio is inside the- Dio, but the, the door's open! So, it's not soundproof when it's open! There's a huge hatch open! It was- it wasn't open? What do you mean it wasn't open? They close again? He had to close it and do the puzzle with Carl. So Dio went back in the room, closed the door, and reset the puzzle. The old woman did, did, didn't do the puzzle? Then how did she get out of the room? So she reset the puzzle. Then why isn't Dio- why didn't- when Dio went back to the room, why isn't he like, Oh, sure, weird that this puzzle isn't solved and she was out of here somehow. Like, th there's- there's a problem here no matter what. He's just dumb. Okay, cool. So the answer is he's just dumb. All right. So he's smart enough to close the hatch behind him just in case, but he's too dumb to realize that the puzzle shouldn't have been solved. Okay. All right. He's smart and dumb at the same time. He's 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 a quantum idiot. He's a quantum morber. No matter what the story needs to, to dismiss the criticism, he's either a fucking genius or a fucking idiot, depending on, on what the story needs to, to be absolved of any fucking plot hole. So they somehow knew Dio would hide the knife there? Yes. Yeah, they morbed. I think so. But how could they know that? Morbed. Why do they need us if they can morb? I tried to take it away from her. I even screamed for help. She refused to let go, of course. While we were fighting over it. Whoa, hold on a minute. The trigger got pulled in the fight. I get that part. What I don't understand is why it did anything to you. You mean because I'm a golem? Yeah, I was pretending. One of yeah. my orders was always to act like I was one of the players. A human. That's why you, uh, died? To keep up the facade that you were human? No. I collapsed because Zero Jr. turned off the power to my body again. <laughs> that was amazing! That was... Question? You know, question? Reasonable answer. Oh, I understand your answer. That's what happened then. No. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Possibly the stupidest moment in the entire game, I think. Like, it's multiple layers of stupid. Like, it's stupid that it was its lowercase d just to match over with the 6, 016. Six. It's stupid that it just so happens that her code is 1016. It's stupid that she decided to, to, to write on her thigh instead of, like, on the floor or on her stomach or anything else in, in a better way at all, like like that. I, I don't know. I guess she's dying, so that one's kind of excusable. Um, it's stupid that it just so happened that her that her thighs went together and it, and it meshed over perfectly on the other side. It's stupid that we only checked one of her thighs. Instead, in, in, and not the other one, you know, like it's stupid that Phi didn't think how the fuck would she have known that code and why would she have said 016 instead of Luna, you know, like it's just multiple layers and layers and layers of stupid on top of each other. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 sorry. Uh, Clover actually morbed and knew that she had to write that in order for us to get the false conclusion or to see this ending. Sorry, my bad. It makes sense. Even that is impossible because Clover tells you that she can't morb for some reason. No, 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 you don't understand, okay? You don't understand. That is also part of the morb. After morbing back to do that, she also morbed back and, and knew that she had to tell you that she can't morb because we needed to know that for something else that happens later. Even, even that's part of the- it's morbs all the way down. Stick to school, kid. You don't get morbing, all right? Why was Quark's bracelet off? I took it off. How? Aluminum foil. Oh my fucking god. I swear to god, I might drop the game right now. I might drop the game right now. I, I honestly straight up might drop the game right now. I honestly straight up might just... I... 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I said this in the first game, right? As a joke. Oh my god. Oh. Oh god. Grant me strength. Oh no. Please don't go where this. I think this is going. What? You mean the stuff from the crew quarters? Oh, you found it? Did you know that aluminum foil has electromagnetic shielding properties? <sighs> Holy shit. It was that easy all along. Also, you can just put a thin sheet of metal under the thing to block the injector needles. Lamayo. I'm upset. Oh, I'm upset. They didn't even need to do the foil. He was in the fucking pod that makes them freeze and their heart rate goes to zero. Why didn't she just say that? And then we didn't have to use the fucking foil. We didn't even need the foil. The answer is right there. Just fucking put him in cryo sleep. Fucking thing falls off. D -d Done. Like, you didn't need to use the foil. Unless we use the foil later. Or we get a morph back earlier and be like, Oh my god, give me some fucking aluminum foil. And Fi's gonna be like, Oh, what, you want some fucking baked potato with your fucking twice-cooked pork, Sigma? And Sigma's gonna be like, No, I need to take my fucking bracelet off. Like, is it ever gonna come back? Because if not, why the fuck would they do that? Just fucking use the freeze function on the fucking cryopod. To piss me off, so yeah, the writers morbed back from this moment, and we're like, no, he's not pissed off enough. Would you hug me? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, you know what? Game's back on track. All right, ten out of ten. Lowered one hand to her head and began to gently stroke her hair. <laughs> oh no! I broke the rules when I said that to you, Sigma. I'm sorry, I'm being deactivated. It's really slowly. My hair goes off first. Hey, Luna. What the hell is going on? I'm sorry. My ABT is usually held in place by muscle fiber. But after Clover gave me the tubal curarine, I'm a golem. Just a... a machine. A jumble of metal and plastic that pretends to be real. Still in, by the way. But I think my time is up. Oh, Sigma. Thank you. I'm... I'm really glad I met you. It's going to be okay. I'm not going to let them do this. As I sit here doing nothing, you're going to be fine, I promise. Luna. Thank you. Oh, that's kind of messed up. Look at that. Sigma. And... Goodbye, Doctor. Doctor? Doctor Lingard? Doctor Lingard. Remember me? You don't write, you don't call. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's go betray her. Luna and... Achievement unlocked. Tears in the rain. Oh man, a reference to a really bad movie. Okay, alright. Let's vote betray. This feels really bad, actually. It's like, holy shit, I don't want to do this. He's not here either. This is the last room. The number nine door has been opened. Uh, oh... Status, game finished, result, escape complete, participant successful, Luna and Quark. All right, so Luna to Quark out to get help, I guess, then. Game over. I'm actually really grateful to chat for, for making me play this. This is this game is, is very interesting. The way that they, they play with the branching format, but it becomes part of it, too, that's like, oh, you think it's just this? Like, no, you actually jump back here, over here, and it changes. And it's very, very interesting. I'm actually pretty grateful about this game. Okay, so bomb number two. All right, I have that written down already. Bomb number two. Yay! I've been trying to think of why are only his arms robotic, and the absolute dumbest reason I can think of it that is going to make me fucking livid if it's true, okay? Is that the only reason his only his arms are robotic. Okay, so here, here's, here's what we go. So I think that we came in here... And, like, it was, okay, so we're, we're, we can't let Sigma know what he looks like, right? So, the reason, so let, let's think through. Okay, so we can't let him know what he looks like. So, he's going to look down at some point and see his hands and his arms. And he's going to see that they're, like, they're super old. So, what we have to do is, we have to make it so, we have to chop off his arms and replace them with, like, younger arms. Because that's the only part of his body he's going to see. And then Larry's like, hey, don't you think he's going to look in a mirror or someone might describe what he looks like? Or he might, you know, have to scratch his balls at some point during this. Or, like, he might take off his shirt or anything. And, 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 then, and then fucking, like, no, 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 he won't. Don't worry. 
you know, we morbed and he only ever looks at his arms. Don't worry, th that's it. But it just so happens that he just never catches his, his face in a reflection or anything, you know? So that's the dumbest reason I can think of for why his arms are robotic. That, that's that's why. Who the fuck is that? Larry, Larry is the voice of reason in the anime um, plot the plot creation discussions when they're designing games and everything. Pan, Finally, pan. the last one. What about Bomb Zero? We don't know where that is, do we? Oh no, wait, do we? Are you gonna morph for that? This is just a masterpiece, isn't it? D X R, D X R. Yeah. <laughs> Suck on that, Dio, you arrogant son of a bitch. Ah ha 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 ha! Honestly, I feel like I could fly right now. Hell, I almost wish there was another bomb so I could feel this again. Isn't this great? <laughs> Fine? Oh, also, not that I needed it or anything, but it sure would be nice to get a thank you or something. Oh, thank you, Sigma. You're the greatest. You're so awesome. I'll dress up in that swimsuit for you, just like I promised. Ah, it did come back. You said you wished there was another bomb, right? Wish granted. Well, I mean, I, I don't you're really. Happy. You're going to get your wish. But there's also one more. Okay, we knew this too, actually, but I guess we forgot it. And the more bomb number zero. <laughs> we don't know where it is. We need to get to the zero bomb. And I'm all out of timelines to warp to, so we're gonna luck into it, I guess. If I was Dio, where would I hide? Ah, yeah, should be between these AB rooms. Oh, it is there. Good, I was right. G, D, Q, oh yeah, G, D, Q. A Tamiyoji Fai and myself ran through the center door. Interesting, we're with Tamiyoji. The three Morbers are together. The three biggest Morb heads in here. We're gonna talk about the movie a lot. The worst room is coming up soon. I, I'm pretty sure that has been said before every room in here. I think this cube is just floating here. How the hell is it doing that? Who knows? Can't tell just by looking at it. Why don't you touch it and see if anything happens? It's Minesweeper? Okay, so the bottom corners have something in them, and that's it? So is that what I have to do in on the wall that corresponds to this? All right, so this one over here. Whoa. Oh, fuck. Well, this has to go, oh, this comes out now. Aha, there we go. Hey! All right, this room's really cool. Change the colors to the correct ones by ch clicking the hexagons and triangles. Remember that you only have five moves to complete this puzzle, huh? I feel like I've done this puzzle somewhere before. Oh no! 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 All right, so it has to all be red. Okay, how do I make them all red? It's not going well. It's not going well. Not going well at all. Hey! All right. So more dice. Um, I don't know where they go, so this is a waste of time, huh? I can't figure it out. He's still on the dice puzzle. <laughs> ah! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, not again! All right. Not again! All right. So now we need um, 33, which is which is this one, right? We're done. Hey, there we go. Pretty good. Okay, you see that? My dart skills are undeniable. Yes, I saw it quite clearly. It was very nice. Do you really think you have to stand the whole two meters and 37 centimeters away from the dartboard, though? I'm a fair man. My high school would be most likely to be a judge, you know? You have found a picture of a blue die, a picture of a green die, and a picture of a red die. You can view them by visiting the archive. All right, I'm guessing that's the one away cl Oh, God. Oh! All right. One, two, three, four, five, up one. Okay, and then from that one, up two, and then left one. So one, two, left one, five. One, two, left one, five. All right, blue five. All right, this is actually kind of cool. All right, assuming I'm doing it right. If I'm not doing it right, then I'm gonna be fucking pissed. All right, here we go. Moment of tooth. Green two. <sighs> like, what is the perspective here? And also, do the sides matter? I'm gonna guess that this, this, this has to be, I have to have the angle right, right? I have to. Like, there's no way. Two and three. Oh my God. God, uh, so that's it. So now I just have to move it over. 
No! Why? No! I don't even know if the slides do matter though. This is just a guess. I'm so mad. Oh my god, I'm so mad. That's still not it. Okay, if I do this enough, will it eventually be right? No, it's looping. Alright, what if I go the other way? No, it's just gonna reverse it. Okay, I did it. I can't, I can't even begin to understand how I'm supposed to do this. Moving three sides at the same time. Let's just go fucking into loop de doop land. Alright, there we go, we did it. Alright, so right now it's set on the on the bottom, so I need to somehow go around and make it so it gets here. How do I do that? into this arrangement in every single square apart from the one okay so, so does that mean i need to like go use the one above is that why okay get, get fuck off fuck off i want I, I need to clear the room which doesn't bode well for for when we fucking like have to do the other ones <laughs> it's there's no way the sides matter there's no way. It's just I just have the different the, the wrong arrangement, right? God damn it! Oh god damn it! Damn it, man! Damn it! <laughs> we have to do five more after this, and I don't even know if that's right. I don't even know if that's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst part of it. Alright, so, um, I think this was the best room. This was really cool. This was kind of eh, but not completely stupid. I like how you had this puzzle to get the puzzles out, and, um, you kind of had to, like, earn every single way. It's kind of like a break-in in order to, to get in here. Um, bringing the rest of the puzzles back was kind of neat. Yeah, this was a really good room. I liked it. You're... Connie. One purpose, to transport the consciousnesses of two people into the past. Those two people are you, Sigma, and you, Phi. Alright, this must have been really awkward the first times they did this and realized that it wasn't always going to be Sigma and Phi that came in this room and they had to tweak the morb. The first time the people came in here and it was like fucking Clover, Alice, and Dio, and they're just like, whoa, what? Like, <laughs> Things that might appear to be separate from one another connected to one another if you look at them in four dimensions doesn't that at least seem like it could be a possibility <laughs> this this has a really big well what if we disagree disregard your point and consider that i'm right <laughs> exactly the same as the, as the titanic thing aha but what if <laughs> Morphogenetic field theory. AKA morbing. All right, so Jumpy confirmed, Akane confirmed. All right, so Jumpy, Jumpy had kind of hints to it that he was someone from the past past games because of what happened with Clover, but I wasn't sure. But I feel like I got there through like, you know, okay, I, I feel like it has to be someone from the past game. It might not be, but it's either Santa or it's Jumpy. It's gotta be like that, all right? So, so, so we get there, right? How the fuck did I know this was Akane? I want to disagree with the premise and its pseudoscience of, of morbing, but it's kind of spooky. How the fuck did I just feel out that that was Akane? I don't get it. So come and find me. I'll be waiting. In my swimsuit. Okay, so three people are from the, the frozen pods. So let's, let's go through it. Temyoji, Quark are from the present day. Dio is from the present day. Luna is a robot. K is a 
clone. I'm going to say K is from the present day. Clover and Alice are either also clones of their original form from, from the past, or they were frozen. So that's two people frozen. So who's left? Phi, Sigma, and, and that's it, right? Phi and Sigma? Okay, I'm going to guess Phi was also frozen, and Sigma is from present day, and has just somehow been mind wiped to think he wasn't from the present day. The AB room on the left, in one of the other histories, she... Oh yeah, you're right. Akane's body was in there. Why didn't we find her body in this Maybe time? Maybe because she wasn't murdered. It's Perhaps fate. she was saying her own fate wasn't decided yet. Huh? The history where she's alive and the history where she's murdered are both real right now. I have a feeling I'm gonna hate this. You didn't, you didn't know, but actually now they go up. They go up now. There's one up here and one up here and Lamayo, one goes up here too. <laughs> you thought you were done? This is halfway, motherfucker. Here we go. Akane. Behind her was Dio. He was moving quickly and quietly, a knife linting in his right hand. She ran across the roof, launched herself into the air, grabbed the knife, and then stabbed Akane. All right. He's fine. Just unconscious. Okay. And then... And then we're gonna just put the bracelet on him and just throw him in the thing. And he's gonna be like, oh, well, seems legit. Like, okay. What? Oh, someone knocked me out, put a bracelet on me, threw me in here. But you know what? They left me with my quantum fucking bombs and detonators. So I guess they're the real idiots. It's not like he can say that to anyone. Like, guys, I infiltrated this space, but I was also knocked out. Something is sus. No, of course he can't say that. Why would he give his position away? But in this timeline, he... In one timeline, he gets in here, stabs an old lady, leaves the body, takes the bracelet, goes into the thing, and then proceed. And then that's that's him set. In another timeline, he goes to stab an old lady, gets knocked the fuck out, wakes up in the in the in the box with the bracelet on, right? And on both timelines, he does the exact same thing. Like there's no fucking way after those two bases that he does the exact same fucking thing in both time. That, that's the problem. When a human brain is faced with danger, its processing speed increases. Unfortunately, that in itself isn't enough to send oneself through time. Yeah. In order to increase the amplitude, we need to slow down the brain before the increase happens. In order for that to happen, I had to infect you with Radical Six. Now, everything is in place. I have put the bracelet onto Dio. All we have to do is place his body in the fifth AB room. Your consciousness is about to leave your body and return to the future. Oh, so much of this, the way the story works is dependent on Dio being an absolute fucking moron. Oh my god. It was a small key attached to a string. I'll tie it onto your ankle so that you won't lose it. All right, Sigma? What's it say on there? To fui ego eris. <gasps> it's Bikoi's catchphrase. Oh. Now that you guys are awake, all we gotta do is open the number 9 door. It says 10 for 10 Miyoji. <laughs> I have 10 BP. I've got 15 BP? That means I got 6 more points while I was out. Oh, this was a good way of, um, of skipping over that. That's nice. <laughs> but how? You've been asleep for more than two hours. How did we get to the infirmary, though, without the load of the map screen? Beep, 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 We've beep, played beep, the beep, 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 beep. Three yes. times. Yes. Of course, the color and group assignments were shuffled around each time. But no matter who voted, everyone chose Ally. The power of cooperation is boosted whenever Alice is unconscious. The number nine door has been opened. All right, everybody, let's move. Where the hell are we? Manchester. The desert, I guess? I figured that out. I mean, which one? Look at the moon. It's red, right? That means today's the total lunar eclipse. Nah, the, the moon's just red now. That's part of Radical Six. Zero told me to stay quiet. That up there is the moon's shadow. Is there another moon? That's Earth. 
what? But it really looks like it has the, the, the face of the moon on it, right? That's the, the most famous fucking thing about the moon is that it has that kind of face in it. That's a, ch that's cheap. That is cheap. <laughs> hey, that's the earth and where the hell are we? The moon, of course. This is the lunar surface. All right. You've been walking around like normal. You didn't feel different as soon as you came up here. God damn it. This is so dumb. Does Radical 6 also make you fucking six times heavier? How do you explain the gravity? She picked up a rock and dropped it. See? That looked perfectly normal. Yes, it looked that way. No! <laughs> okay, even if it did look that way, you would still like any single time that you like jumped in the air or did any try and force or anything, you would still like, you would move more than you're used to. That's not how, you, uh, even if your perception is slowed down, your, your physical movement still would be like everything would like, if you pushed off a little bit more, you did like a, every single time that doesn't Clover jump in the air for joy or whatever, every single time that happens, like, it, it doesn't matter what your perception is. You're still going fucking up in the air way more than you thought that you were going to. Like, there's, there's no perception is going to fucking stop that bullshit. Radical 6 can slow down your brain's processing speed by the root of 1, 6. <laughs> the way that they're explaining it right now, that does make sense for you processing if you drop something. Okay, yeah, whatever. That, as much as it hurts me to say it, that does explain that. But not fucking moving... How on earth, we're not on earth, is is your, is ZTD worse than this? I'm so excited. Before we get into that, I should probably tell you something. This isn't New Year's Eve in 2028. Today is January 27th. 2078. In 29? No. 78? 79? 74. Ah, close. What, what? I suppose it started a few months before that. The government had a test site for a future Mars mission out in the middle of Nevada. On December 31st, 2028, there was an accident. Radical 6 claimed its first victims there, then escaped. Wait, so right now, is Temioji actually... Some people would drink the drive off the building or like that that that's how they're all talking to each other right now and we just can't <laughs> okay so not just one apocalypse but two the the antimatter reactors went off and there was a virus that, that made everyone kill themselves and like 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 in fucking Long Dong Grandpa. All right, cool. All right. Well, th then again, maybe the Radical Six is what caused the antimatter reactors to go off because um, whoever was trying to take had to take care of them couldn't anymore because they got infected with Radical Six. Okay, yeah. And then the meteor. And then, and then the. <laughs> and then the meteorites. Oh no, the meteorites. And then the mole people came out from under the ground. Oh no! Uh, and then the aliens came. And the sun is it's it's getting too hot. Oh no! Oh no! We overcompensated for it. Now the sun is getting too cold. Heat it up. Oh no! <laughs> How could they get rid of Radical Six? The answer they decided was purification. It could just roast the surface of the Earth, and that had killed the virus off for good. Wait! Oh my God! What? Uh, <laughs> On April thirteenth. Luckily, it worked. That it worked. Was to detonate all 18 annihilation reactors. I think that the bombers had already been infected, and when they died, they took billions with them. That makes more sense. Why didn't we just go with that? It, the explosions threw a ton of crap up into the stratosphere, where it joined up with smoke and ash from all the fires. It's been 45 years now, but there's still quite a bit of dust and ash in the air. That's what you're seeing. Why put that book in there then? That book that book is, was put there just so when we came out here on the other timeline, we'd be like, oh my god, we're on Earth and it's the eclipse. Okay, cool. But like that has nothing to do with the experiment. That's just, that's just, fuck you, player. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it is a sick prank. That's just, <laughs> that's just the Kane and Zero just fucking with you. Like... <laughs> 
B project is to send us back in time to that catastrophe Tamiyoji was talking about. I think so. Just <laughs> imagine the people in like the 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 moon station over on the side here that are monitoring this because obviously there there's a, the, who built the bait. Like, there have to be like people involved in this, you know, listening to these communications right now, and they're just like, oh my god, <laughs> this is this is so hard to follow and take seriously. <laughs> they're just talking so slow. <laughs> These are the saviors of, of mankind. <laughs> and you just hear them go, I mean, we came from that same time period. Oh god, I hope they're gonna morph back. Oh my god, this is our, these people are our only hope. We're gonna go have a talk with somebody. The person behind all this. Wait, we, we can actually just get back in? What? I didn't know that was allowed. With that, we headed back through the airlock. And they wouldn't let us back in. Oh my god, we have to morb. Dio got in. Dio got in with the doors open, the elevator gone, with a big signpost saying, Come on in, Dio, we're expecting you. And he's like, Oh, well, uh, yeah, why not? Why wouldn't they be? Yeah, sure, what the fuck? Yeah, I, I don't see anything wrong here. Time to kill someone, take a bracelet on, pretend that I'm a part of the game, even though they've rolled out the red fucking carpet. Go into the fucking. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm oh, I'm fucking Dio. They know my name. I'm on the itinerary. The bunny is saying my name. I'm just a part of this. Huh? Seems legit. Like, yeah, like. <sighs> Clever. Wait, we can just get back in? What? Like the number nine door on floor A is shut forever once the game ends. Ah, but the one on floor B. Assuming Zero Junior was telling the truth, of course. But the door on floor B. Yeah, thought we might be able to take the lift to it, and it looks like I was right. Okay, it makes sense. Is is Akane really under here? I think so. I pulled the key off my ankle and fit it into the hole. What is this? Wait, she she couldn't wait. An hour? She's just like, fuck it, I'm going in the treatment pod? Then we gotta wait till she melts? <laughs> yeah. So how about you tell us your story while we wait, Kay? I was born and raised in this facility. It's called Rizel 9. The puzzles were also there for a purpose. Dude, there had to be a better way to do it than this. Some theories hold that a moment of insight when you solve a puzzle strengthens your connection to the fourth dimension. Like in the first game, it made sense because they were insane and they had already made the the the, the nonary game and they were just repeating that in order to match what they had done before. And also, they didn't really know what they were doing and they were just kind of matching the rat in the cage kind of thing. But here, come on, they had like fucking like 50 years. They, and, and they were like, oh, well, we don't know. We have to just, the only thing that works. Dio was given two tasks. The first was to eliminate Akane, the architect of the AB project. Why not make Jumpy jump back and and um, stop Radical Six? He can jump back even further than, than Sigma and Phi, I'm guessing. The second was to join the AB game and win it. If Dio won the game, the AB project would not be completed. If you cannot murder Akane and win the game, destroy Rhizome 9. Hence, the bombs. Bombs on the inside. No, he plants the bombs in the other one. He does. This is this isn't even up for debate. It, he it's a mistake then in in the fucking writing. She says, "What's the password deactivation for the zero bomb?" And he doesn't say anything like, "There is no zero bomb. I didn't plant the bomb," or blah blah blah, or anything to do with that. He just says, "Why does that matter?" or whatever, or it doesn't matter anymore. Okay, like. He wouldn't, they wouldn't even be armed. He wouldn't say shit like that. He would be like, it's fucking stupid. I completed my mission. What are you gonna do with the password at this point? How is this not? The bombs are already there. Who gives a shit? Not your problem. You can't get back Excuse in and disarm them. There's no, I don't, I didn't plant them. It doesn't matter. What the fuck are you talking about? How am I wrong, chat? What the fuck are you talking about? The way he's talking there is clearly the someone who has planted a bomb. If he hasn't planted the bombs, then the writing is a fucking disaster because that's not what he's saying. He's not saying, why do you need it? I didn't plant any bombs. There are no bombs. What bombs? What the fuck are you talking about? His words are clearly of someone who has planted a bomb and is like, doesn't matter anymore. What the fuck? No, oh my yes, God, you're. I yes. am. Okay. Why do this though? Akane Kurashiki. But why? Once you saved me, you went back to your future. After that, I went into the first room and borrowed Kay's armor. Alright, what about the other history? The one where you weren't saved. Who's wearing the armor? That's quite simple. The man in front of you. 
You've never seen him before? No. What about the rest of you? I have no idea who he is. Hey, come on. What are you guys saying? <laughs> right here? Same face? Oh. Sigma, your consciousness can jump through time. You can inhabit your body in the past or in the future. A pond. I ran to it and threw myself down on my onto my knees. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> Crawling on all fours, I approached the edge. I peered into the pond, looking for looking for my reflection. <laughs> what? No, this can't be real. This face. It's your face, Dr. Sigma Klein. Zero. The mastermind of the AB project is you. Never looked at a reflection, never caught a glimpse of anything, never looked at the rest of your body. That's why your arms are robot, so you wouldn't notice. No one ever said, what's that fucking thing on your eye? You never scratched your face or had an itch or felt something on your face or anything like that. Never touched it. Never did anything. Uh... It's the truth. 23 years ago, in the biolab here in Rhizome 9, you created Kyle. If nothing was done, the reduced gravity would cause his bones to be weaker than normal human ones. So he really was raised in a suit? But ever since he was born, he's lived inside of it. My god, it really was a literal depiction of his childhood. He really was in a suit the whole time. It... The timeline here, from the original's perspective, is... I was living my life, had an affair with some politician, a total chad, in school, doing my homework, just had a breakup. Oh no, the gas. Boom. And then just like right up to here, right? Boom. And then I went through the nonary game, the nonary game, the nonary game, and then went up here. And then I jumped back to D, right? And then I lived my life. I, I continued living my life and made this game thing. And then from B, I jumped back again to A. And then I lived my life to E and then I did something at E and then E and C switch again I guess so the old version of me will keep Radical 6 from getting out by jumping into my 22 year old body on New Year's Eve 2028 yes all that remains is to launch your consciousness what do you mean you haven't figured it out I mean this <laughs> pull out the golden gun hold it to her own head Fi. There was a dull pain in my chest. Were these two banging, do you think? To Fio Ego Eris. What you are, I was. What I am, you will be. Do, 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 do. I'm starting to get the impression they're never going to explain why we have robo arms. They will, Joe God. Well, they never explained the mummy in the first game. We're a whole other game in, and they still haven't explained the mummy in the first game. Except for Lamayo, there wasn't a mummy. Except there was a mummy, but they retconned it that no, it's actually not a mummy. It was just someone dressed like a mummy and also had the same name who was just in the same area and just happened to be there at the same time. Like, after 999, I thought this might make sense and, and explain some things, but nah. You know what happens next, right? Why aren't you 3D? Um, we go to the moon. Correct. We will be leaving tomorrow, April 14th, 2029. And then you have to hit the book, Sigma. You have to become a, a world famous, like, pushing the boundary genetic biochemist. Er, hop to it. Let's go. Better start reading on the rocket. So why don't you just stick me in one of those pods? We can't do that. Uh. After arriving at Rhizome 9, you must master genetic engineering and artificial <laughs> intelligence programming, among other disciplines. <laughs> in the book, Sigma. Otherwise? Akane, I was a liberal arts major. And, of course, we don't know how the Radical Six escaped. We don't even know why it was there in the first place. We need you to figure out what happened in that test facility. How do you know it's so dangerous? The 67-year-old version of you told me what happened. He wasn't able to stop the virus. Okay, then we're not going to be able to stop it either. Are you not paying attention? So I suppose you could say you told me after you failed. All right. Um, what did he, what did I say? But the test facility is full of traps. <laughs> I, 
I knew that you guys were going to build a space on the moon and, and do a fucking multi-jump time loop in order to send your consciousness back into this thing to stop Radical 6 from getting out. I knew that you were going to do all this, so I set all these traps ahead of time so you wouldn't be able to get in and stop this fucking Radical 6 from getting out of here. I knew it was all going to... <laughs> what do you mean it's full of traps? How? There How was the... one point a woman's life was in danger. <laughs> what? You risked yourself for her sake. <laughs> I lost your arms and your right eye. Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> My arms and my right eye. <laughs> you still didn't notice. What the fuck? You didn't notice that you were looking out of one eye? You didn't. You turned the TV off! You turned the TV off! How did you turn the TV off? What the? Suddenly the low rumble shook the building! <laughs> there was no. How? How is this one of the most interesting structures of a video game I've ever seen and uses the medium so well? And yet, it is just the. Stupidest fucking game when it comes to characters. You plan to return them to Earth, I mean. Yeah. yeah. I don't give a fuck about Akane anymore. See ya. After they morphed, he got up and was like, "Akane, were we successful?" And she got tear in her eyes. Yes, yes, we were. Oh my god. Let's just have a gross makeout session in front of every single person. And Jumpy's just there crying. Yes, yes, we did it. We did it. Oh no. And now we both have to morph. See you later. Can't believe how dirty they did, Jumpy man. Whatever. Don't you want to know the truth? Then buy the next game! Don't you want to know what happened in between Christmas and New Year's <laughs> Eve in 2028? So specific! So specific! <laughs> well, yes, I do, but... All right. Sigma's cat problem. Sigma has a strange verbal and possibly psychological tick which causes him to make cat puns whenever he talks about cats. He'd always love cats, so every day he would visit the cat mansion and give the cats that lived there some of his lunch. One day he realized that he could understand what the cats were saying to one another. A magical black cat appeared and told him that it had given him this gift in exchange for giving food to its fellows, but the magical cat said, you can never tell anyone about your gift. The magical black cat warned, if you do, you'll be cursed. But young Sigma was so happy about his newfound ability that he slipped and told the girl about it, so the black cat cursed him. His curse was to only speak in cat puns for the rest of his life. Fortunately for him, a magical white cat came along soon afterward, felt the curse was a little too harsh and lessened it so that he would only talk in cat puns when he talked about cats and they lived happily oh. after. Okay, all right, I'm done. I'm not reading anymore. I'm done. I'm literally done. All right, all right. So, um, I don't know if there's ever been a game on on that we've that we streamed or um that I've played in general actually that has started out so interesting and I was so in. And then has nosedive so hard at the end that, like, I think that it's a complete waste of fucking time. That, this was really bad. This was really, 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 really below Xenoblade Chronicles 2 bad, okay? This was really bad. If it had ended well, it would have been, like, I don't know, like, a, a, a favorite. I don't know where all my rankings of favorites. I have a lot of favorites. It would be a favorite. It, it would be a standout, let's put it that way, a standout game. I would be like, wow. This was cool. This was really experimental. It did some really cool things. I, I like it a lot. So the destination is more important than the journey. For me, yes, actually. I'm I'm very, very big on endings. I like endings. I like conclusions. The journey is important too, don't get me wrong. It's not like you you can have both. You can enjoy both. But for me, I prefer conclusions. I like I like the climax of things, you know? Like I can't believe it ended up just being an ad for for the next game too. When did they come out? 4 years? You had to wait 4 years for the conclusion of that. A whole Witcher 3 production video. <laughs> Your whole story just just go is hinged on this guy's just never going to look at his reflection and no one's ever going to say what's that on your eye? Anyway, Virtue's Last Reward, really, really high highs, really, really low lows. Um, it's the Elden Ring of escape room visual novels. Six out of ten. ZD, ZTD will break you. I don't think it will. I don't think it will. My, I, I'm going into ZT, C, ZTD with my expectations set at the 
exact right level for bullshit. I'm not expecting anything from ZTT but a crazy, wacky time. And in fact, if it's not wacky, I'll be disappointed. I'm expecting pure, unadulterated bullshit from ZTD. And in, like, the crazier the better. I, it doesn't even make sense. I don't give a fuck. Right.